Afternoon, fan. Oh, hello. We're not late. You're late. <laughs> yeah. It's all right. We'll make up for it. We'll make up for it. Happy, uh, happy Easter Sunday, everyone. Yes, a very, very happy Easter to uh, to everyone watching. I uh, hope you've all had an incredible weekend. Party's just getting started really though, isn't it? Yeah, here in Brizzy. Yeah, well, welcome to Brisbane. Welcome to, uh, welcome to uh, the land down under. The land down under. Here I in, the way you say that. Here in uh, sunny Queensland. Oh, you didn't. <laughs> and uh, and oh, you're a bad influence. The. Uh, <laughs> The, the, the mint slices are, are here already. <laughs> you know I'm going to eat them. There we go. That didn't take long. That did not take long. If I don't open them, I won't eat them. If I don't open them, I won't eat them. Uh, yes, welcome, everyone. Welcome to uh, sunny Queensland here in Brizzy. Um, it's, uh, it's not too sunny at the moment. There's some, some ugly-looking clouds about, actually. It's, uh, it was a pretty good day, actually, on the field. Um, quite cool. Looks like we might have some. Uh, looks like we might have some rain showers coming rolling through throughout the afternoon. So, uh, so that'll be fun, I'm sure. As long as we don't get wet, that'll be fun. We've got uh, Peter and Tezza up here with us today. Or did you already say that? Maybe you already said no, that. No, I actually didn't. No. Oh, there you go. No. no. But uh, welcome everyone. Uh, Yin Cafe spotter first in the chat. Good on you, Yin. Uh, Lee hated seventy three. Good afternoon, mates. John Vogel's here. Hello, mate. Ashley. Hey guys, refresh for another fix. <laughs> Love it. Welcome, mate. Uh, Hayden's here. Hello, Hayden. Uh, Nathan Ward, John Green. G'day, fellas. B Rad's here. G'day, B Rad. He's got pre stream a, checklist. He's Max remote control. Uh, pre, pre, chair. pre stream uh, <laughs> checklist complete. Oh, I need to get myself one of those massage chairs. Good on you, mate. Uh, Jackie's here. G'day, Jackie. Tez is in the chat, and he's also up here with us. Oh, John's uh, spotting and sipping, mate. You on the? You got the beers going already. <laughs> Robert Zeman, hello, mates. He's on the tennis, is he? <laughs> Jackie Hughes. Uh, uh, Malaysia A380 fan. G'day. Happy Easter to you too. Uh, Beth F is here. G'day, Beth. Daryl P. Maxwell. Uh, Fred. G'day, Fred. Welcome. Uh, Jim. Jim's here. G'day, Jim. Patrick M., your legend. Uh, do they have beers with him again? <laughs> we don't. We, we don't. Uh, we don't. What is it? Stream and sip. We don't stream and sip. No, no, no. Unfortunately not. That would be great, I reckon. No. Maybe one day. Who well, knows? It's not like it's a strict policy or anything. We've no. just never done it. Uh, yeah, I imagine it depends where we are. Yeah. Probably Ma probably frowned upon here, I reckon. Maybe. We'll get the old <laughs> paper bag one day. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, maybe um, maybe out on a, on, on a... Well, who knows? Maybe out on a boat one day. Well, me and Dar were talking about setting up a bar down at the Loop, actually. So <laughs> it might happen one day. Cooper's Licensed. here. G'day, Cooper. you legend. Hello, mates. Um... Happy Sunday. Happy Easter Sunday. John Green. Hello, mate. Rachel K. Good afternoon. Cow. G'day, cow. Uh, Sean Q's here. G'day, Sean. Um, Cairns Local Plane Spotting. G'day. Welcome. Uh, just stopping in for a bit um, to see the 350 come into Cairns. There you go. No visual, uh, no visual really on the A380. We can just see the very front of the nose and uh, the wingtip, actually. Yeah, I'll oh, run down that way. 
shortly. We'll get I the reckon. mat cam. We'll get the mat cam out soon. Don't worry, guys. Yeah. Don't worry. Clydesdale's here. G'day, Clydesdale. Uh, Casey and Tolson. Ryan McCall. G'day. Uh, James and Mort Bay Modeling's here. G'day. Oh, this skipped on me again. Where'd you go? Oh, mate, you've got a bit of, bit of catching up to do. It, it does that, doesn't <laughs> it? it? The chat just disappears oh, and it love comes it. back and there's a million things there. Uh, first of all, though, we've got oh, Lee jumping in there. Oh, Lee. HS73 Straight with in five there gifted with, memberships. Straight in there with five. Mate, good on you. Thank you so much. You're very kind. Always looking after us, that old Lee there. Appreciate it, mate. Uh, uh, that's gone to Ryan, Rachel, Rob, Brian. Brian's picked it up. Brian and Barbara. <laughs> <laughs> the two living legends. Oh, good on you guys. Actually, I, I've got to say uh, thank you again to um, to Lee as well. I noticed this morning that he's um, he's boosted our Discord server. So uh, thank you, mate. Oh, true. Very kind of you to do that. And, and Cooper did as well, I believe. I don't really know how that works, to be honest with you. So uh, It so, sounds like a good thing. Yeah, I only just noticed this morning. So um, thank you, guys. What does that mean when you boost it? Is that like an algorithm? I, it gives the server some uh, special, uh, some new tiers to... Uh, to do some better stuff, higher quality mm. stuff. And, oh, cool. Yeah. Appreciate that, mate. Uh, oh, Patrick. <laughs> we have ships, trains, sunnies, and Maccas for you shortly. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'll get the Maccas out. Don't you worry. Maccas cam. Maccas cam. Shirley's here. G'day, Shirley. Hello, Shirley. Happy Easter to you. Uh, spending oh, she's got COVID. With COVID, that's no good. Well, no good. Uh, hopefully you're on the mend, Shirley. We'll keep you company in the meantime. Uh, George is here. G'day, George. Going to try and... Steel sea. Ah, jinx. You owe me a soda. <laughs> uh, Amelia Briscoe. G'day, Amelia. Hello, Amelia. Who knows about me? Welcome, mate. Oh, uh, Kev's here. G'day, mate. Afternoon, mate. How was your, uh, how was your stream today uh, in, in, in uh, the wet Wellington? I, I wasn't able to tune in, unfortunately. No, I'm very I was busy, at work as well. I always miss your streams. Mate. Um, I know I you get it on replay. I know you had trouble uh, yesterday uh, with the rain, but hopefully it all went well today. Oh, Barbara's here, actually. There you go. Oh, hello, Speaking Barbara. Of devil. Uh, congratulations on your uh, <laughs> on your gifted membership. <laughs> uh, sounds like the theme song to movie Halloween there, morning. Walk. So she reckons that the music sounds like a Halloween <laughs> music. Oh. I can't remember it actually. Oh, okay. I've seen them. It's it's been a long time. I have to watch it again. OPN bots decided to sharp today. That's brilliant. Not for long. Good on your OPN bot. It's on uh, it's on the public holiday rates, so <laughs> it won't be here for long. Rigoberto's here. G'day, Rigoberto. Oh, no, Cooper. Forgot to start a stream event in Discord again. Mate, can you... Uh, do oh. you have access to that? Can you do it? I, I didn't he say you did it yet? Uh, Friday? Oh, right. Whoopsie. Whoops. I have to automate I've that. got to... Um, yeah, automation would be great, but um, I've I got know, to... Uh, Office of Mark do that. They've got a little bot. Yeah, I need a pre-stream checklist. Maybe I can get Brad to sort me out something. Uh, Apple Juice is here. G'day, mate. Dino's here. G'day, Dino. Oh, hello, mate. Uh, Cooper, who have we got in the car park? Terry and uh, Terry and Peter Jones up here today. And Peter's already brought in, as usual, he brings in the, uh, the mint slices, which only Maddie seems to eat. <laughs> um. Don't worry, I'm pretty hungry today, so uh, so I might dig into those uh, those... Bickies, I'd very appreciate soon. that. My thighs and my tummy would appreciate that too. Matt Hayes here. G'day, Matt. Good to see you. We're on that. Uh, we're Seki on Seki as well. G'day, Seki. Seki. Hello, Seki. Uh, we've actually just um, we've just switched to zero one operations here at Brisbane this afternoon. Wow, uh, wow, we were setting up. So we've just had a runway switch. Um, we're looking at uh, we're looking at Virgin. What are we looking at? Virgin uh, sixteen forty one, uh, holding short at Alpha seven for zero one right. I look at the, is that a 73 half hanging out halfway out that hangar? Yeah, there, there is, there is. That's pretty yes. cool. We'll get a shot of that. Uh, Federal President of the United States. Uh, welcome, mate. It's an honor. <laughs> Please say hi to me. Uh, Yin's here. G'day, Yin. James Chisholm. G'day, James. Troy Daly. 
Eric's Bailey. here. Hello, mate. Happy Easter to you. Oh, sorry. Jumped on me again. I must be behind, eh? I think so, mate. Took us so. 50 minutes to catch I up might, last um, time. I might incredible. get rid of us for a moment, um, just so we can uh, get a better look at the planes, eh? Still waiting for that Virgin to uh, head out. Uh, Kevin, triple seven, g'day, mate. Uh, no worries. Thanks for taking your time to come and uh, come and watch our stream. I guess it's. Ah, uh... oh, look, we're doing what we love, mate. So, um, so it's absolutely uh, not uh, a drama at all. We we love being here. I had nothing going on at home, so this was uh, this is um, it's a good excuse to get out here, actually. We're just talking about getting a barbie out here one day. It'll be perfect. Uh, Beth, Emirates chilling. It is. I'll get uh, I'll get a shot at Emirates with the map cam uh, shortly. I'll put that up. Probably get one of the boys on one. Cooper, I didn't see your message, but that's all right. I, I sorry it took so long, mate. Uh, hopefully it's hopefully it's working all right. Uh, the new channel, the new channel, Discord channel. I feel like Cooper, you, you and you and James of uh, X Wing, will, uh, sorry of um, More Bad Morning, will probably be there. The main ones using the Aviation News Channel, but yeah, I think it'll be. I think it'll be good. It'll be a good addition to the Discord. There goes Virgin 1641 off to Launceston down in Tassie. Uh, James Martin, good day, mate. Let's go, boys. Started the stream strong with the dash eight. Uh, please shout out to my niece Zara, who loves Fiji Airways. Oh. No worries, Zara. Good day to you. Hello, Happy Easter. Zara. Uh, we'll loves the Fiji. Do we see a Fiji today, or has that already happened? Oh, I'm not sure. I feel like it's already happened. Um, I'm, I'm happy to be wrong, but um, yeah, James and Zara, thanks for tuning in. Alan C, good afternoon, mates. Starting with a dash eight, so it's only going to get bigger from there, isn't it? <laughs> uh, uh, CC, good afternoon. Oh, speaking of the devil. I'll bring that up. Barbara's jumped in as well. Oh, Barbara. A big 10 gifted membership. <laughs> Starting off the uh, the Easter celebrations. Appreciate that, Barbara. Oh, thank you so much, Barbara. Very, very kind. That's uh, that's gone to uh, George, John, Anthony, Chibird, uh, Aaron, uh, Dorjean, Ethan, and Alfie. Alfie's Outdoor Adventures. Steve Murphy as well. Don't oh, forget Steve. Steve. Sorry, Steve. Of, uh, over in the peninsula. Uh, oh, and uh, Stefan. Stefan or Steve? Stefan. Uh, picking that, picking up their membership courtesy well, of Barbara there. Welcome, guys. Uh, so thank you so much, Barbara, for that. That's, uh, that's put 10 new members into the lounge, and uh, you guys will all get access to uh, members-only streams from time to time. We plan to do them every month or so. And uh, you'll also get access to the emoji straight away and, uh, and Discord, Discord if, yeah. you, uh, if you want to join that. Continue the party. Uh, and mint slices. Uh, if you ever want to come up and see us, there's unlimited mint slices for members. <laughs> At the moment, anyway. Jetstar, 6.56 heading off there, off to Canberra. From 0-1 right, the 320. Oh, Ernesto, g'day, mate. Happy Easter from Texas. Happy Easter to you from, uh, from the land down under. Uh, we've got a sunny Melbourne today, John. That's good to hear. Mate, is it ever not sunny down there these days? Oh, <laughs> we used to we used to kind of uh, be pretty harsh to Melbourne weather, but lately it's uh, it's proved us wrong. Hasn't I reckon it? it's <laughs> sunny but cold. Sunny but cold. I like that though. Oh, tomorrow I'm just looking at the weather forecast for Melbourne tomorrow. 100% chance of rain, 10 to 40 mil. Uh, possible storm, possible heavy falls. Oh, mate, it looks like you got a few rainy days coming up down there in Melbourne. Ah, oh, Darb's here. G'day, Darb. In the, uh, in the Lurkers Lounge today. We appreciate it, mate. Kev's saying, no rain today. Happy as. That's the way. We are... Uh, actually, we need, to, we need to talk to you soon about your, your trip over. Get to, uh, get to planning, because it's going gonna, it's gonna to go quick. It's going to fly by. It is. Uh, Virgin 332 here. About to line up down at Alpha 7 for 0-1 rights. 7-3 going to Melbourne. 
Meanwhile, uh, Eric's jumping in with a uh, gifted membership as well. Oh, thank you so much, Eric. Appreciate that, Eric. Uh, happy Easter to you again. Uh, it's gone to Steel C. Uh, Steel C picking that up. Welcome, mate. Yeah, I wanted to. I wanted to pop in the chat. We are live there, Kev, but it seems I've, I've only been on mornings lately, and I can it, the times never line up. Doug Houston's here. Hello, mate. Happy Easter. That's oh, hate how it jumps on right? There it is. Perth Mark II's here. Hello, mate. Hello, mate. Paul Bowden, good afternoon. George the Cat. Good afternoon, mate. George the Cat. How many the plane uh, and flight simulator fans are there here? You probably find there's a lot of them. Uh, I'm a big I mean, fan. We, we were once upon a time. I feel like it's a bit hard nowadays. Well, I'm still to, a big um, fan. I just don't get the time and uh, I don't have the, the well, computer. The computing power that's the <laughs> issue for me, anyway. Yeah. Um, yeah, you need a you need a dedicated uh, machine. How does the Xbox <laughs> exit handle? Oh, I guess you could do it on an I've Xbox. I've heard good things about that. Yeah. It's not as good, but it's uh, Chinook's here. Hello, Chinook. Hope you're doing well, mate. Uh, good afternoon. Firefly, Firefly as well. David Cooper. Good afternoon. Uh, we should probably check. How's the audio? We're doing audio check. Uh, make sure we're coming through okay. Audio check one two. <laughs> check one two. Check one two. Stop it. Yeah. I think that's all right. Put him away. <laughs> Stay away, mate. Calm down. Calm down. Oh, there we go. Uh, Brown's got the ATIS there. So what are we? Uh, zero one left and right. Appro approach. Uh, sorry, arrival and departures. Surface condition dry. Independent parallel departures in progress. Wind varying zero two zero zero nine zero at ten knots. Doesn't feel like ten knots. No, it's actually quite calm up here at the moment. Uh, we won't take that for granted because it'll probably, probably change later on. But uh. oh, Mark Howden's here. Hello, mate. Thought I would, uh, would drop by and say, hey, had a busy day today and just wanted to see how you both are doing. Brilliant, uh, mate. Brilliant. Appreciate it, mate. Um, yeah, welcome anytime. Um, we have people up here all the time. It's good to put faces to names. Um, one of us likes to talk a little too much, though. <laughs> Probably me. Uh, Pete Johns is here. G'day, Pete. Oh, Tez is in the chat. <laughs> Wolfie McRobbie, hello, mate. Stephen Shepard. First look at a Fokker today. Fokker 100, the Alliance Fokker 100, taxiing on out to zero 01 left for a departure. Pete John saying Adelaide 32 degrees today. Wow. <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, Stefan jumping in as well. Uh, paying it forward by the looks of it. Oh, uh, thank you, mate. With uh, uh, the membership, uh, which has gone to Mark. Mark um, Howden's picked that up. Good on you, Mark. And uh, thank you so much, Stephen. That's uh, very much appreciated, mate. A little, uh, I can see a little uh, Cessna citation, tiny little thing down at International coming out. I can barely see it, it's a little speck. <laughs> oh, yeah, there it is. Look, it's come from the VIP area, has it? Look at that. The camera's doing a better job, even though I can't zoom any further in on it. It's <laughs> the camera's still doing a better job than my eyes. Sydney as well, celebrating uh, three months in the lounge there. Oh, good on you, Sydney. Thank you, mate. Hello, OPN family. Looking good. Appreciate it, mate. Thanks oh, for mate. joining us. Um, I'm, sure it, I'm, I'm sure it's looking good on that, that big 65-inch uh, of yours. I <laughs> oh, love it, mate. Hope you're doing well. Have the uh, home theatre system pumping with our music control there. It's 
smell that. Bit of jet fuel. Well, you know what we need? We need to be able to put smell through YouTube. The jet fuel. When's that going to happen, you reckon? I don't know. Maybe we can invent <laughs> it. Uh, Chris is here. G'day, Chris. Barbara as well, celebrating uh, four months in the lounge. Oh, uh, Barbara. It's a fun been... time when OPN has a stream. Keep well, appreciate it, and, oh, and back at you. Thank you, Barbara. It's been, it's been an incredible four months, so, so thank you so much. Goes quick, and, actually. Yes, <laughs> and, and look, thank you so much for your, for your incredible support. Uh, Patrick saying, uh, Flight Simulator 2020 on Xbox X Play is pretty good at 4K. Okay, that's a surprise. Uh, I know I was talking to, uh, it was Ronnie. Um, he mentioned actually that the Xbox X does it pretty well with it, so might have to check it out. Certainly a cheaper alternative to uh, to building a computer, I suppose. Jetstar 485 rolling here. Patrick saying levels are good, mix is good, ready to record. Awesome. Perfect. Thank you, Patrick. Uh, mate, I haven't made them changes you were talking about yet. I haven't had time, but I, I will during the week. 350 uh, kilohertz, isn't it? I, I did actually see what you wrote about that, and I never felt so stupid in my life. I, <laughs> I, could, I could barely understand the thing you're talking about, Patrick. We're no, we're, we're no sound engineers. No, no, far from it. I'm, no, but, I'm no audiophile. But we definitely appreciate your, um, your help, mate. Uh, meanwhile, John's jumping in with uh, a cheeky 10 gifted memberships oh, as well. John, mate, that's massive. Thank you so much. A little ripper. Very, uh, very kind, mate. Very kind. So that's gone to uh, George the Cat, Jacob, Jill, uh, Jessa, Refueler, uh, Sweet Brownies, Dale Kerr, Scott, Kenneth, uh, and Alex. Um, picking up those memberships, courtesy of John there. So um, be sure to say thanks. Thank you, John. There. Thank you, John. Appreciate it, mate. He's always looking after us, whether it's drinks, oh, chocolates. Wait, well, or uh, <laughs> yeah, but John really did look after us down in Melbourne. <laughs> well, we turned up at the airport and... Uh, he had the bar open straight away, didn't he? So, he did, uh, yeah. Hope uh, to see you in Sydney too, mate. Yeah. Keep us updated. Keep us up to date. All back here in Brizzy. We're welcome in Brizzy anytime. Uh, James, more than only 220 watching, only 113 likes. Smash that, uh, smash that like button. Yeah, Absolutely. Well, I'm surprised we're at 130 so far. That's awesome. Thank you, everyone. Thank you to the 130 of you that have already hit the like button. Uh, it helps us a lot, so, uh, so thank you. Sally Marks here. Hello, Sally. Happy Easter to you. Uh, and Jeff. Welcome, mates. Kevin Leonards. Hello, mates. 10 to 12 degrees Celsius over there. Oh, I'll take it. <laughs> wow. Away. All right. So a little citation going over to uh, Sabira, is it? Very good morning from London, UK. Wow, it is very good morning over there. I mean, what time is it? It must be, uh, oh no, daylight savings now. So it's not too bad. What is it, 5 a.m.? 5 a.m. in London. Welcome, Sabira. Is the sun up by then? Uh, well, it's coming, it probably, no, I don't think it is. Not at 5 no. a.m. Appreciate you joining us. Oh, uh, yeah. Lauren Griffiths is here as well. Welcome from Bendigo. Who's the, uh, who's the special guest on this one today, do you reckon? Who's, uh, who's on board? I don't know. <laughs> Is there anything happening? Is there anything in, been in town? Anyone been in town? Thanks again, uh, John Bogle there. Ten get to memberships. Me. I've lost the chat again. You're terrible at that. I oh, know. Well, it just <laughs> keeps jumping all over the spot, doesn't it? Uh, Chinook's uh, celebrating one month in Lounger as well. Um, well, it's more than a month, isn't it, with the blue pin? But... Uh, well, blue month. Blue is second. Sorry, uh, but yeah. Well, first month done. Many more to come. Appreciate it, mate. Thank you so much, Chinook. Found us from uh, one of Kev's streams, I believe. One of Kev's raids. Uh, appreciate it, mate. Thanks for joining us. Happy Easter. Patrick M. Smell OPN Smelly Vision. Smell Vision. <laughs> smell Vision. Um, yeah. What an idea. I know. <laughs> you, you'd make a mozza off that, surely. I have no idea how I feel like that it, would be one of them sort of gimmicky things like 3D televisions that just dies, you know? Maybe, maybe. <laughs> you remember it was a... 4D. Uh, you remember 3D televisions? 
you remember when they were a big thing? Imagine, imagine doing this in three dimensions. Maybe we can. Uh, Is that when you had the red and blue glasses? Well, no, but they they changed them. There was red and blue, right. but that that was when you could do it on a standard television. But then they changed it to the polarized uh, glasses, didn't they? Oh, James of X-Wing is here. G'day, mate. Hello, mate. Oh, Sydney's got the 70-inch now. <laughs> Stream looks even nicer. Great to hear, mate. Oh, stop it. Love it. Come to your place, mate. Wayne, uh, we, we're... Oh, 7,600. Yeah, right. We just hit 7,600 subs. Brilliant stuff. That's snuck up. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, you know a guy. Mate, do you, uh, you... You don't work at Microsoft or something, do you? <laughs> yeah, give us the goss. <laughs> Might be mate's rates on that by the sounds of it. Bex here. G'day, Bex. You know what Just I do need? In the background. I need, no an a, I need an Azure server. I need an Azure... I don't know what that is. VPS. I'll let you and Patrick, you know, <laughs> romance over the, the Azure server, but I don't understand that. What for? <laughs> James Chisholm uh, gifting a membership. Thank you so much, James. Uh, Going to Hazy M. Hazy M's picked that one up. Appreciate that, mate. Uh, where's this... Uh Where's the citation? That's, uh, I think that's next to the part over on zero one left. Yeah, holding now. Is it on flight radar? Uh, no, it'll be either that one there, yeah. Heading to the sunny coast. Wow, that's okay. a short hop. Obviously a, a, a repositioning flight or, or someone, that, <laughs> someone that needs to travel quickly between uh, Brizzy and the sunny coast. Uh, Doug Houston's here as well. G'day, mate. Wardy, welcome. Randy. Gaz Leonard, g'day, mate. Oh, here we go, speaking of. Uh, James, Mort Bay Modeling. Uh, so this belongs to, the, uh, the citation here belongs to uh, uh, Taze Australia, a massive beef and protein company. Why are they flying it between Brisbane and Sunshine Coast? I don't know. That's what I want to know. Maintenance? <laughs> I don't know. That's crazy. I Elliot mean, Elliot Nuts is here, g'day, mate. Kenneth, welcome. From the Philippines. An American living abroad. Well, welcome, mate. Thanks for joining us. Uh, Dennis is here from uh, South Island. Welcome. Happy Easter. Ah, Patrick was at Microsoft for 25 years. True. Wow. Um, and wow, as I'm saying that, <laughs> not following the little citation. Let's, let's go. Short hop up to the sunny coast. Very short hop. Uh, Owen, see you today, Owen. Good to see you, mate. Tiny little thing, isn't it? A little citation. Uh, Hayden, this time next Sunday, uh, Brisbane and Melbourne will, will be the same time. Finally, to that. Well, I'm looking forward to that because that makes my life so much easier on a day-to-day -day basis. <laughs> I, I, it's something. It's that that time zone difference. It's just for six months of the year is just so hard to deal with. When. Uh, it feels like the whole country just runs on daylight time. It's the Adelaide <laughs> half hour that gets me. Oh, yeah, Adelaide half an hour. Yeah. That's terrible. My brain doesn't compute. The math don't math, that's for sure. Uh, I think there's actually a 15-minute time zone somewhere in um, in Western Australia, down uh, down the south side of Western Australia. Oh, disgusting. <laughs> Randall Lem's here. G'day, mate. 
Keith in Miami. Did you say hello to Keith? Hello, Keith. Happy Easter to you as well. Uh, he's, uh, you're right. So you were in, in Miami, are you, Keith, I'm assuming? My dad just left there on, uh, on a flight, heading home, flying the, uh, flying the Dreamliner back to London. I had the citation would be likely to hit 5,000 feet <laughs> on a short hop. Yeah, probably. Yeah, sunny coast. I mean, well, it's probably on final already. <laughs> Where is it? Where is it? It's already up uh, just east of uh, the Redcliffe Peninsula there. It's at 5,700 feet already. <laughs> Oh, Randall's jumping there again, the uh, cheeky uh, super sticker. Oh, Randall, thank you, mate. Very, very kind. Uh, kicking off the Easter celebrations. Appreciate it, mate. The 20 US dollar super sticker. Thank you, mate. Very, very kind of you. Darwin also 30 minutes behind Brizzy. Wow. <laughs> I didn't realise that, actually. Half an hour time zones, that's not nah, too much. No. <laughs> doesn't work. No, it doesn't. <laughs> doesn't work. Uh, James Levex been saying six or seven different time zones in Australia. It's just ridiculous, isn't it? Uh, John Green at LAX saying shine the light. We do that here sometimes, don't we? OPN bot has turned up today. That's good. Good start. Good start. Four now. Yeah, four now. All right. The Alliance uh, and Brea lining up there. It's operating for Qantas, of course, uh, on the wet lease. Uh, Qantas 1965 heading to Newcastle. Rolling. Well, one. Not yet. Oh. Hang on, hold on, hold on. Just me. A uh, Fokker on tow across the uh, across the active runway zero one uh, right. Uh, where is it? I've gone past it. There it is. Uh, Perth Mark Two guys. Uh, yeah. So no no link or uh, or anything for the OPN Discord. Um, Should be able to do this now. Oh, and it will tell you how to do it. Let's hopefully it works. If it works. There we go. Oh, there you go. I, I made a little uh, little guys. There you go. So basically, you're just connecting your Discord to your YouTube channel. Yeah. Uh, once you link them, you'll automatically be in the OPN uh, well, Discord. No, you won't. You, you just you'll see it after connections in the yes. same screen in the in the connection screen. You'll see that the join button will come up next to yep. OPN. Um, um, but it has to be that way, unfortunately, mate. Yes. Just the way we we've set it up. Because um, there well, there is a paid version of, of of the Discord, I should say, the paid channels, which uh, your um, members only. Yeah, your lurkers own. Your sorry, your lurkers lounge uh, membership on YouTube will automatically carry over into Discord that way. Correct. So it's, it sounds silly at first, but it works really well. And it means we can link everyone up, so we know yes. who everyone is on YouTube and uh, and is in the Discord chat. So it just makes it a bit more seamless, I suppose. Yeah. Hayden seven four seven two. G'day, mate. Dash 8 heading off there from 01 right. That's uh, Qantas Link. 362 Delta to uh, Wagga Wagga. No worries at all, X-Wing. Happy to have you here now. Hope you're having a good Easter. 
Where am I looking? Boyce is here. G'day, Boyce. How you doing, mate? <laughs> Over there in... Uh, where is it, Matt? Warnable. Where's Boise? Was it Warnable? <laughs> Your memory's terrible, wasn't it? No, it's not Norwich. <laughs> Norwich? <laughs> you got it, finally. Norwich. Finally. <laughs> Even Terry. I know it was one of the uh, two. <laughs> hey. Uh, welcome, Boise, mate. I uh, hope you're well. No. That's what it sounds. I'm just sounding out the words, well, you know, the we'll, letters. We'll, we'll get Matt there eventually. I'll do a, I'll go over there one day. I'll do a little tour. I'll pronounce all the, you know, the... <laughs> oh, not a chance. Yeah. My partner was over there at the time. And, yeah, not a chance. And they are Welsh. They couldn't even do it. <laughs> one of the uh, Qantas 7.3s under tow there. Is that right? Yeah, I believe it. Oh, I've flown past it. Where is it? There it is. Got to be excited, mate. Connor 629, rolling on 01 right. 73 heading to Melbourne. Peyton's in the uh, in the Discord. Welcome, mates. Perth Mark II, don't try to reduce the number of uh, time zones. You'll upset the dairy farmers. Absolutely. Looks like that Connor 73 is just being towed from, from gate to gate. There it is. Moved over from the Connor satellite. Uh, I can't even see that. What's that? Oh, it's over here, is it? That up there? The Connor 73 over there. Oh, this one. The one I'm looking at there is that one there. That's the one being towed. Yes. Right. That's a bit strange, isn't it? Uh, John Green, no, no uh, A and A here. They, they've been here before. Um, actually, not too long ago, there was a diversion from Sydney. Uh, but no, no uh, scheduled services for A and A into Brisbane, unfortunately. Qantas, uh, Qantas 539 lining up. The 73 heading to Sydney. Yeah, Pro Switch Gaming is here today, mate. Matt's got uh, mint slices in his mouth. <laughs> Just one, I'm not. Calm down. <laughs> hey, Carolyn, take it, hey, Carolyn. Uh, happy Easter to you. A very, very happy Easter to you, Carolyn. Having a ripper day down here at the moment. Yeah, the weather's quite nice at the moment. I, I imagine there'll be showers at some point. Yeah. There's been plenty of rain showers heading on by, so... Quite a 539, can I take a Quite a 539, see ya. Yeah. You may as well, mate. Hey. Why not? Oh, you're... Oh, I'll so get that away then.
The sun's come out, actually. What do we got? What do we got happening? Want me to boot that up? Yes, boot it up for me. I'm just talking about the Mac cam in the background. <laughs> Get it going. Uh, Jacob is here. G'day, mates. Good afternoon. Charming in from Perth. Uh, Perth Mike 2 talking about the uh, the Virgin uh, Max 8 delays. Yeah, well, I've heard that they might not be able to take the uh, the Max 10s. Well, actually, yeah, so looking to swap the 25 Max 10s for some Max 8s. It's not a good situation, is it? Because, uh, but nobody knows. Nobody knows how long it's going to take. It could could be years for the uh, for the the, the Max Sevens and Tens to actually enter service. Who knows? Who knows? All right, Craig Murray is here. Good day, mate. What a cray cray weather day. It's been like yeah, a couple of isolated showers, but it's been nice and cool. Uh, We'll take it as it comes. It's, it's, uh, it's pretty good over the field at the moment. Can you just take that for a second, Matt? Just, I know you haven't had any practice for a while. I thought you might want to get some in. <laughs> Boy, he loves my pronunciation and my attempts at that anyway. Cornus 937 lining up now off to uh, Perth. What's that for? James has brought out duct tape. I don't. I don't like this. Oh, you've made me miss the plane, mate. Booted it up yet. Pat 
Patrick M jumping in there again with the cheeky tip. Kicking off the, uh, the Easter celebrations. You're trying to make us uh, get that Microsoft Flight Simulator, aren't you, mate? To build one of those simulators. Now, big thank you to you, mate. We appreciate it. Miss Virgin, oh, and it's lining up. Ah, uh, Sharon's here. G'day, Sharon. Happy Bunny Day. Absolutely. Oh, these bunnies are <laughs> saying good day. He's having a, having a siesta. Uh, he's had a big night. <laughs> Look who's turned up. <laughs> Do me to take that again? Yeah, right. Patrick, thank you so much, mate. Sorry, I've just seen yeah, he's that. done it again. <laughs> mate, that is so kind. I think that's the 50. That's 50 US, isn't it? Mate, thank you, honestly. Um, we, we, we can never thank you enough for your, uh, for your, for your such kind um, generosity. Um, being such a massive supporter of the show. Virgin 375. Uh, no, 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 no. You're looking at the wrong plane, mate. This is a. This oh, is, right. This is Virgin 1395. That's just arrived. Oh, that's a bit awkward. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, this is Matt playing up. It must have uh, it must have been underneath the other pin. The one you're talking it. about is here. Yeah, there it is. That's the one. There's Virgin 375. Virgin 375 next to the part on zero one left. I got a bit excited. Man. Sorry, everyone. Rolling, uh, seven three heading to Townsville. Plane Pete, which is uh, <laughs> just been formed, is that's Peter. Peter Jones. <laughs> Peter Jones. <laughs> Hello, mate. He's dropping in the five. Good afternoon, everyone. Up, up with the guys. Weather is clearing. Happy Easter. He's uh, he's dropped in the he's dropped in the min slices. Uh, oh, I know. <laughs> Thank you, mate. My tummy thanks you. It's going to be a warm winter. Uh, Canal uh, Kurdistan. Kurdistan. Welcome, mate. Probably got that wrong. Apologies. Hopefully the wind doesn't blow him off. <laughs> oh, yeah, I wouldn't. <laughs> I might just go grab that. <laughs> ah, the Easter Bunny has made an appearance. On OPN. Patrick 
Luke's saying, got to keep the gang in Macca's. <laughs> I've been trying to be good with the Maccas. It's, it keeps slipping in every now and then. Uh, what did you do the other night? Was that Friday? Did, did, we, did we have to go past McDonald's on the way home? Yeah, I, did. I think we did, didn't we? Owen made me. <laughs> uh, I resisted. I didn't have it. It was just Matt. No, I've, uh, yeah. Must have an addictive personality. But, uh, yeah. John Vogel, has he, has he gifted another five? He has two. <laughs> Mate. <laughs> That is just so generous. Thank you. Uh, Stuart Cameron, Jeff Walker, uh, Derek Bean, uh, Seaguard Tim, uh, and Dee Harris, all getting uh, memberships courtesy of John. Thank you, mate. Thank you so much. Very, very kind. All right, what's, what's going on on the field? Where's the, where's the aircraft? <laughs> we got Easter bunnies, but no, um, no aircraft. I can hear something starting up. Uh, yeah, where's that coming from? It might be a Fokker, you know. Maybe not. We'll find out in a minute. Made in Australia. Wrong button. <laughs> uh, three months has been with us now in the lounge. Thank you so much, mate. Uh, love you guys. Thanks for Sunday. Mate, it's uh, our pleasure. We love being here. We love being here. And, um, yeah, what, what, what better day? As I always say, Sunday is Sunday's my favourite day to be out here at the airport. Sunday afternoon. Nothing beats it. But, uh, mate, thank you so much for your ongoing support. Congratulations on uh, on being with us three months now. B-Rad as well. Oh, Brad. <laughs> Two months in the lounge now. Good on you, mate. Thank you so much. It's been great to have you with us. Loving the lounge. Thanks, guys. Uh, Appreciate it, mate. Uh, our resident, uh, or newly... Uh, uh, newly uh, Mac, uh, Rex Rex 737 pilot he'll be uh, how, how far off are you from flying that now mate is it only a few weeks you start on the on the 73 on the Rex 73 Roger Rabbit. <laughs> Roger. Is that his name? Peter Rabbit. Is, is it? it? Is it Peter? I think so. It is too. Peter Rabbit. Mrs. Rabbit. Carol and Maddie, how did your little one enjoy her Easter this morning? She was spoiled. She's up with the in-laws at the moment. Um, spoilt rotten as uh, <laughs> as she usually is. Uh, no doubt she'll be bringing all that chocolate back for me though. Oh, it's jumped again. Hang on. Was a Fokker starting up? Oh, it comes through pretty loud. It does. Here, yeah, I can. I can hear that yeah. clearly, clearly through the headset.
Jim saying, put the bunny in the box. Yeah, we've... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Bunny is, is safe now. It's back to uh, steering the camera. Yeah, I think he was going to run away. Yeah. It's on the uh, little Peter Rabbit or Mrs. Rabbit, whatever. What was it? Mrs. Rabbit is, uh, yeah, back on the camera. <laughs> Does a better job than me or James. Uh, one of the Jetstar 320s here heading out uh, for departure on zero. One right. This is Jetstar 821, which is going to be going to Sydney. Cooper saying back from doing the laundry. Did I miss it? Did I miss anything? Only the Easter Bunny, mate. No biggie. Dropped in the uh, the chockies. <laughs> uh, Randy saying it's a busy airport today. It's actually fairly quiet at the, at moment, the moment. At the moment, but I know it will pick up. It always does in the afternoon. Mm, peaks and troughs in, uh, in Brisbane. We got a, we got a few we got a few to look forward to. I believe we're getting the uh, Air Callan. 339 are the uh, the Neo again this afternoon. Looking oh, forward true. to that one. That's uh, one of my personal favourites. One of the very best, I think. Uh, Scotty, how long are the free memberships for? I believe they're a month. Yes, and you'll get the option to uh, to either renew it uh, or not. So um, I believe they'll send emails and that sort of thing. Craig Murray, why so sunny there? Mate, it's only just come out and it's I don't reckon it will last long. I don't reckon it will last long at all. You reckon? No. What's the heavy we've got pushing back down there at International? It's Craig saying half tempted by the uh, 220 due at uh, uh, 550 right on sunset. 550? There's a 220 coming in today, mm. is there? Normally they don't come in on weekends. Singapore was pushing back 350. The 359 are at Singapore Airlines. Next heavy departure. Not far off. Dino, mate, jumping in with the uh, cheeky super chat there. Only here for the banter. <laughs> Only banter network. We appreciate it, mate. Yeah, big thank you to you, Dino. Thanks, Dino. Much appreciated, mate. Hope you're doing well. Comes uh, comes for the comes for the banter, stays for the Easter bunny. <laughs> we appreciate it, mate, and happy Easter to you. Where's that Fokker gone? There it is. Heading to zero one left. Fokker one hundred. Be rad. Thirteenth of April. 13th of April, so two weeks. Is that a Sunday? It must be a Sunday. And you know that all eyes will be on you, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Pressure's on. Oh. No, no, no. I'm looking forward to some of these uh, mates' rates. Uh, fares, <laughs> though. Um. <laughs> That's probably not a thing nowadays. No. I imagine it's quite hard, actually. No. It'd be family I've, only, I've, I think what you want is a, is a, um, a jump seat. Right, oh, yeah, you? that'd be yeah, that'd be the go. But uh, yeah, not possible these days. Imagine Matt Cam up in a jump seat. Uh, Sally saying showers just off the coast. Yes, there is uh, between us and Morton Island uh, because it, <laughs> I can't see it. Uh, they were closer a little bit earlier, but we'll see. We'll see if they. Uh, we'll see if we get any this afternoon. I know there's a good chance. Elliot, do you have any tips for someone looking for that first flying job? Uh, actually, in the chat, you've probably got quite a number of people that are the perfect, uh, perfect ones to ask that question, or in our Discord as well. Um, Brad, one thousand flight level comes to mind there. What, um, what sort of, uh, what sort of job are you looking for, Elliot? Are you, are you, are you looking to actually fly, or? That wind's bigger than me, isn't it? It is. Uh, 
Peter Rabbit would be long gone by now, I think. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Gonski. Um, yeah. Old Bugs Bunny. <laughs> John Vogel. <laughs> Got to start working on the aviation fuel scented aftershave. <laughs> you reckon there's a market for it, mate? Oh. I can't imagine you can sell much, but you could probably do a little limited edition. It'd probably sting really bad if uh, <laughs> if you put it right after you've shaved. But all oh, right, Craig Murray saying uh, X-ray four Bravo scheduled uh, to operate Qantas twelve sixty arriving at uh, five fifty p.m. Well, we'll be here. That's around sunset. It's pretty much bang on sunset, isn't it? Five fifty p.m. That should be an incredible, uh, incredible view this afternoon. Qantas Link uh, E-Jet here on pushback and startup. Uh, Anto's here. G'day, mate. John Vogel, mate, you need to get a uh, job with an airline, get discount and jump seat. Yeah. Yeah, maybe I'll do that, eh? Start start from the bag room, move my way up to becoming a pilot. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I think I've got access to um, to Virgin Australia, staff travel. I haven't used it yet, not Virgin. Oh. Yeah, rub it in. <laughs> Sorry, mate. <laughs> James Martin reckons uh, you'd make a fortune selling Avgas scented body wash. I reckon an Avgas candle would go pretty hard. Is that one of the pilots on the, on the Dash 8 there, standing at the door? Oh, he's giving us a wave. Hey, mate. <laughs> Big fan of the show. Oh, no. I need to watch over my shoulder. First arrival in a while. We missed it. A Qantas, uh, what is it? Qantas... On 526. Sorry, I didn't realise that was my cue. <laughs> from uh, from Sydney. I'm, I'm telling Matt, here we go, come on. <laughs> Qantas, no, I, Qantas I was, what? Another world. I was looking at the 76, which is now taxiing of uh, Omni Air International. All oh, right, so we got two heavies on the way out. We've got Singapore and the Omni. Looks like Omni's pushing 7 6. Front. Now, we, we said on Friday that this might be the last time we see the Omni uh, 76 because it is scheduled to, um, to stop uh, is it operating. Next month? Yeah, next month's scheduled to stop operating for Air New Guinea. So uh, potentially, potentially one of the last times we see it. Who knows? Oh, Shaz is here. G'day, mate. Welcome. Yeah, good afternoon. Ah, oh, Landis is back. G'day, mate. Good afternoon from Central California. Oh, thank you so much, Landis. Is very kind Cheeky of you to chat there. Very kind of you to drop the ten in, mate. Hope you're doing well. Happy Easter. And there is the Omni Air 76, which is operating for Air New Guinea. So that'll be going back to Port Moresby. Um, the 359R of Singapore Airlines is still waiting for that to appear, but it has pushed. Uh, waiting to begin its taxi. And there is, the ATIS is actually showing a little bit of a tailwind right now. Obviously, the wind's varying, but it's showing a little bit of a tailwind. So um, I wonder if we'll get another runway switch at any, any point this afternoon. It's very possible because it is, it's, it's sort of a direct crosswind. And in fact, right now, it feels more like a tailwind, doesn't it? Don't you think? Matt's uh, chomping, uh, chomping away at, at the mint slices. So uh, Are you he's, have one? I've had five he's, he's them, nodding mate. at me. All right, all right. You've got to help me out. <laughs> oh, Singapore's moving too. Singapore. 
And the uh, where's the where's the Omni Seven Six? Going to zero one left. John saying the old Caro heater does the job, boys. Yeah, it would get get you pretty close, wouldn't it? Two point two thirty six Alpha Nine, a runway zero on right, ready to take off. Same. We used to go down to the airport to get a whiff of aviation fuel uh, when it was too long between trips. Yeah, I, look, I, I get it all day at work. I have to say, don't mind it. <laughs> now, is, uh, is Singapore going to go out on 01 right, do you think? I hope so. It looks like it is, doesn't it? Mm. Yeah. Let's have a look. Down there at Alpha 9, looks to be lining up. We're holding short anyway. Oh no. Lining up. Lining up. Bam. On the air, obviously, uh, coming over to uh, zero 01 left. I'll yes. probably run over there with the other camera uh, as it taxes past. Get the Mac cam going. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Singapore, the uh, 359er, heading home. Singapore 236. Brad saying I had a uh, co-worker's family arrive on the Omni from uh, Port Moresby, uh, waiting for uh, waiting for the photos. Um, curious to know how it was, mate. Um, it was a full flight. with the uh, five get to memberships as oh, well. Landis. Oh, that's a shot. <laughs> oh, I love that. Um, Peter's just shown us an awesome shot you just got uh, of, the, of the Singapore 359er uh, departing off uh, 01 right just there. Uh, thank you so much, Landis, dropping Absolutely. in uh, dropping in five gifted yeah. memberships. Very, very kind, Landis, to uh, to, to do that. Dropping in the, the super chat and then and then five gifted as well. Uh, so that's gone to Randy, uh, Leontine, Hot Vipers, Chipmunk, and Ken. Uh, all jumping in the lounge courtesy of, uh, of Landis there. Appreciate that, mate. Thank you. Thank you so much, mate. Another one of our US viewers. And there's the Omni Air 76. So the, the Singapore will will actually head back overhead uh, the field, probably at about nine or 10,000 feet. Uh, where is it? It's somewhere here. There it is. Do a, do a long loop around. Nathan Ward's here, good day, mate. Jason Van Diver as well. Uh, Pete loves the old school Singapore livery. Am I going to get this Fokker? Where is it going now? Oh no! Ah, oh, I've just missed it. It's actually going pretty quick. Off to Emerald. Right as Sally says, uh, great camera work today, guys. That was terrible. <laughs> oh, stop <Yeah>. it. <laughs> Way to prove him wrong. Oh, good on you. Oh, there's the Singapore. How cool was that? Still see the Singapore there. Look at that. 
long, long right-hand turn. Uh, and it will continue on and actually come directly back over us. Uh, I better run over with that camera, hey? Might go now. Yeah. Matt needs audio. <laughs> of course. Let me get it sorted. Sorry, Matt. I'm just going to get this uh, departure. <laughs> wow. Wow, this camera works terrible today, Matt. Terrible. Virgin, that. Uh, 1398 heading off of uh, 01 right there. I've still got visual on uh, Singapore. I wonder if I can get it on the camera. It's very, very high. Let's have a look. Where is it? There it is. Still see it. We might lose sight of that very soon as it uh, goes above the uh, the roof here. There we go, about to lose it. And there it goes. All right, Matt. Matt, can you hear me? Are you there? Have you made it? Have you made it to the uh, to the other side of the car park? Copy, James. Ah, oh, you're there. Perfect. All right. Let me just do a quick uh, reset. Don't want that uh, latency to be there. All right. Now, are we good? Yeah. There we go. We got the Omni. We got visual down there at zero one left. The, uh, the 7.6 will be heading home to, well, we'll be heading back to Port Moresby. Oh, Matt's got eyes on uh, on the Alliance Fokker 100. Sorry, the Fokker 70. Coming in from Mackay, Virgin 610. I was going to say, that's a small, uh, small Fokker 100. <laughs> Sorry, I'm looking at it on a small screen. Forgive me. And uh, Singapore has just flown directly overhead. Matt, I wonder if you'll get a shot of that. Um, it's, it's heading directly uh, away from you. I reckon I will, you know. You reckon? Um, I had an awesome shot of it uh, until we lost it. Just up my ND. Um, oh, it is too. Can you see it? Go on, before we get the Omni. Yeah. Right, yeah. It's always hard to find on this 
screen. There it is. I can there see it. it. Yeah. How cool is that? <laughs> can still see the Singapore 359er. That's awesome. Hey, what what altitudes are that? Must be at 10,000 feet by now. Uh, so it's, oh, it's actually at 13,000 feet. It's currently over Brendale. So it's already that far away. Very good. Omni rolling now. Omni's rolling. Perfect. The 767. Potentially, well, I don't know exactly when this is due to finish, but potentially the last time we see it. We'll keep saying that every time we do see it. Yeah, reverse psychology. I like <laughs> it. And uh, parallel departures currently, Virgin 73 also uh, also heading off from 01 right at the same time. One of the Qantas Link Dash 8s just pushed. Started up, ready to go, ready to begin its taxi. Oh, made in Australia has just gone and dropped in the $10 Super Chat. Thank you so much, uh, mate. That's, that's very, very kind of you to, uh, to drop that in. Happy Appreciate Easter, that, mate. Happy Easter, brothers and sisters. Happy Easter to you as well. Well, happy Easter to everyone uh, watching today. I hope you've had an incredible weekend. What's that, Matt? <laughs> is, that, uh, is that Peter Rabbit? <laughs> the Easter Bunny. Love it. Thank you so much, mate. I have to apologise for that. No, that was brilliant. <laughs> uh, JM, 1am here in Atlanta. Uh, great camera work, fellas. Thank you so much, Jay. Hope you're doing well, mate. Oh, and Terry <laughs> dropping in the five gifted memberships. He's up here with us today um, doing some spotting. I'm sure he'll jump on the mic soon, yeah? <laughs> yeah, no, thank, thank you, mate. Much appreciated. Um, Vanessa working on it. Gordvar, Rachel and uh, Freezy Star all getting memberships there, courtesy of, uh, courtesy of Terry. So um, thank you, mate. And welcome to the welcome to the new members. You're all get, you're all gonna access to the the emojis in the chat straight away. Uh, also, access full access to the Discord server, and um, from time to time there'll be some the members only shows as well. So keep an eye out. We uh, we're probably due for another one very soon. So uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, JM's loving the, uh, the camera work. Appreciate it, mate. <laughs> um, Patrick, I love your score there. Was it that good? It felt bad. It felt okay, bad. <laughs> There's the mat cam. The mat cam's live. Ah, oh, James Mortbay yeah, modeling. Love to see the old school clamshell reverses on the fog. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, supposedly. Uh, an Asiana 350 hit a Fiji, sorry, an Asiana 380 hit a Fiji 350 over at LAX while taxiing. The 380 didn't realise they'd done so. I did hear that. I did hear that. That's crazy, isn't it? And they continued on without realising.
Uh, what do we got? What do we got happening? Pat Patrick M saying, uh, Kev, well into flights life, you need to upgrade to a mat cam with your own mat. <laughs> yeah. What a great idea. Mate. Yeah, jump on, mate. Jump on. Kev, get me over there. Get me over there, Kev, and I'll, uh, I'll do it for free. Come to Wellington. Here he is. The man himself has actually just dumped, jumped onto the mic. Hello, mate. G'day, everybody. How are we doing? <laughs> happy Easter, everyone. Oh, thank you, mate. And uh, Well, yeah, happy Easter to everyone watching as well. Um, Terry. Look behind you, Tez. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> Got Peter up here as well. Yeah, Peter Jones is up here, of course. Good old Pete. He, Peter's rocking the, the Sid Squad uh, Little Wings t-shirt today. <laughs> we'll, we'll get a shot soon, mate. I got my eyes peeled for the retro today. I won't drop the ball like I did on Friday. Uh, which which retro is this? The, uh, the 59? I'm pretty sure that's on its way. Yeah, oh. good stuff. Let me double check. And um, we're getting the Air Callan 339 R, the Neo. Nice. Again today, I believe. Well, that yes. was that was the case on Friday. That was what, that was what Cooper told us. I'm, I hope that's still the case, mate. Same. I love the livery on it. Oh, it's just it's stunning, amazing. yeah. And it's the only Neo we ever see here. The 330 yeah. Neo. Yeah. I think it's... Does Sydney get some? I don't think Sydney gets uh, Yeah, no, I, it's, I saw it on Sid Squad. You did? Yeah. The other night. That must have been between six that I missed it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> was it night? Maybe it was daytime. Maybe it was a... Uh, uh, Good Friday was a morning one, yeah. Yeah, it was probably that one. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Randy, happy Easter to you as well over there in Wisconsin. Thank you, mate. Matt's got eyes on a Qantas Link dash. James app. saying, uh, "Sorry, Matt." Sorry, James is saying, "Matty, did you uh, did you take that from your daughter?" I think he's talking about the bunny. That's um, that's exactly what we did. Oh, you did too, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, you didn't go out and buy Just one. Just borrowed it for a little bit. <laughs> there we go. The Qantas Link dash eight coming in. Uh, Qantas three seventy nine from Harvey Bay. G'day, Owen. Pompous. And, uh, oh, John Vogel. John Vogel's gone and dropped another five gifted memberships in. Mate, you're on a roll today. What's that? 20? That is, I think that's 20 from John today. Wow. <laughs> Mate, <laughs> thank you so much. Honestly, that's so kind. And uh, another five new members. Uh, Wilson, Lisa, True Survival, Brisney, and... Uh, and scare bus driver, all getting memberships courtesy of John. Mate, thank you, thank you, honestly. The uh, the Adelaide boys are here as well. G'day, Pompus. Ah, Pete's here. Hello, mate. And uh, Matt's uh, doing a terrible job of tracking this Connors Link uh, dash eight. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, uh, I got distracted. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Connors Link at 462, heading out to Morinbar on the Mac Cam there. Uh, uh, Peter Bunny. <laughs> oh, g'day, Patrick M and John Vogel. Good to see you, Scott. Yeah, it's been a while since we've seen you up here, Cooper. Actually, when's when's your next uh, when's your next visit? Uh, dropping in uh, the two-month celebration. Can you try and spot the uh, 
380 Auckland to Singapore. Well, I mean, the cloud, a lot of the clouds cleared, so we'll, we'll certainly keep an eye out. Um, it's very, very, very hard when there's no contrails um, to, to see aircraft at flight level, you know, 380 or whatever they usually go over at. Um, but, mate, we'll keep an eye out and remind us, remind us. Yeah, absolutely. We'll give it a shot. Uh, Kate's here. G'day, Kate. Welcome. Brandy looks like a shipping yard in the background. Yeah, absolutely, mate. It's the um, it's Brisbane ports, Port of Brisbane. Uh, we can see most of it uh, above the treetops. See a few, uh, few container ships. On the odd occasion, we'll see a car carrier or two as well. And then there's the, uh, the cruise ship terminal as well, which is on the other side of the river, on this side of the river. Uh, no cruise ships in today. We usually see them uh, somewhere around here, tower over the cranes. Yeah, definitely nothing over there today. <laughs> no. No, Peter was saying that before. Oops, I'm tech, no, tech glitching myself today. <laughs> <laughs> uh, John saying uh, Melbourne gets a Cebu Pacific 330 Neo. I captured it a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, right. Uh, Cooper reckons no retro Qantas at Brisbane today. No, one's I've been trying to find it. Can't yeah, find it. you reckon one's in Adelaide and the other is flying uh, to Melbourne. I even put the filter on specifically to try and find it. I couldn't find yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> you got the tail numbers in there. Yep. <laughs> uh, Pete's back to work. No worries, mate. We might uh, we might see you tomorrow. Oh, we'll catch up soon, mate. Mrs. Professor, did we say hello already? But uh, good afternoon if I didn't. Hope you're doing well. Gino Finelli, happy Easter. David happy. Hunt, is there a... Same to you, mate. Same to you. Thank you so much. Uh, David Hunt saying, is there a 220 yeah, in today? I well, think we've got X4 Bravo in... Uh, yeah. The intel is six. that that will be due in uh, around sunset uh, this afternoon. Uh, I believe it's due in at 5.50 p.m. Oh, mate, you get a better shot of that Dash 8 than I do. Look at that. You can see it go into I the do. terminal a bit further. Very nice. Very nice. All right, Qantas 620 has just turned on the final, on short final for 01 rights. There it is, the 73 coming in from Melbourne. Uh, Cooper saying that the uh, Air Callum 330 Neo is still going ahead today. Uh, the same aircraft as Friday, due in at 20 past six now, right? Okay, well, we'll be, we'll be waiting for that one. Won't be going anywhere till, uh, until that arrives, that's for sure. Even though it'll be, it'll be somewhat dark by then. Just a little bit. Yeah. We can't miss it though. No, definitely not. No. How was your uh, how was your your journey here this morning, mate? Uh, on the on the train. It was pretty good. I drove yeah. as far as Dinmore Station and then just jumped on the train there. Right. Came across. And yeah, it was it was pretty good. No issues at all, actually. Yeah. So, yeah, that was a simple line coming across this morning. Yeah. So I was actually expecting the traffic to be a lot heavier than what it was. So yeah, that was good. But middle of the weekend, no, not many people are travelling, I guess. No. No, tomorrow will be a different story. Oh, yeah, tomorrow <laughs> will be terrible. You don't want to be on the roads here tomorrow. <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> uh, I'll be safely tucked up back in the mountain. Yeah. <laughs> it was bad enough up there on the Monday. Yeah, it's, right. Yeah, it's everyone going through Toowoomba. Yeah, yeah. Come back this way. 
There we go. We've got the Royal Flying Doctor Service heading out on 0-1 left on the Mac Cam. Uh, that Beach King Air heading to Harvey Bay. And as that one departs, we've got Connors 541 heading off as well. Rolling. 101 right. 73 heading to Sydney. Focus there, Matt. Lovely. <laughs> How good is that? <laughs> what is it? Looks like a miner. <laughs> I'm sure someone in the chat will tell us. Yeah, I'm, I'm certainly no bird expert. Uh, Cooper will be out here all day next Friday for the Hawaiian 7-8 if that's going out. Is that Friday? I thought it was Sunday. Is it Friday? Uh, was it the 5th of April it was scheduled for originally before it dropped off? Yeah, no, Friday. Ah, oh, Jen's here. Hello, Jen. Hope you're doing well. Happy Easter. Steve Medley's here as well. Uh, good afternoon from across Bramble Bay in Klontarf. Welcome, Steve. Uh, Mud Crab's dropping in the uh, the one month celebration uh, in the lounge. Good on you, mate. Uh, good day, guys. Hope you're having a good arvo. Yeah, it's. It's great fun. As, as I've said before, I love being here on Sunday afternoons. It's just so relaxed. Love it. Oh, it's beautiful weather yeah. today. Too. Oh, it is, yeah. It is. It's not too hot. No. It's just it's just right. I reckon it's going to be cold tonight. But <laughs> Oh, yeah. That wind chill factor is starting yeah. to kick in. I reckon, I mean, on Friday afternoon when we were here, by the time we pack, packed up, it was pretty chilly. Yeah, it would have been. It was up at home, too. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Virgin 1498 from, from Hamilton Island on 01 left. Good old Hamo. Yeah. Matt's stomping ground. Yeah. <laughs> That's his daiquiri, daiquiri yeah. hideaway up there. <laughs> it is, yeah. <laughs> uh, Casey and Tolson are here. They're celebrating two months in the lounge now. Good on you, Casey and Tolson. Hi, James and Matt. Happy Easter. Same back to you. And uh, thank you for your ongoing support. You say some of the Formula One drivers were on Hamilton at the moment? There was, yeah. I saw on Instagram. I think it was Pierre Gasly, one of the French drivers. Here we go. Uh, Conoslink 1910, the e jet coming in on 01 right from Canberra. Uh, and I believe uh, McLaren are up at, or well, very close to Hamilton Island, somewhere in the Wood Sundays. Doing some filming. Celebrities love the wind stuff, though. They so do. They just go nuts for it. Can't one. miss a good photo opportunity <laughs> <laughs> while in Australia. It's either there or Port Douglas. That's yeah. That's where they'll hang. That's right. Uh, Craig Murray ducked down to Archerfield just before, and there was no traffic of note to speak of. So good. Love it. Everyone's away. Everyone's up the coast.
Gino Finale, where is Qatar? Good question, mate. Let's have a look. Let's see if it's on time today. Qatari 898 is due an hour and 38 minutes at 4.58pm. So uh, just after sunset tonight, that should, uh, that should be all right. It should look quite good. It did look good the other day. Yeah. Yeah. It came on, uh, it was, wasn't it a 1 9 left? No, that was, uh, sorry, the Air Cowling, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Um, Cooper's actually saying that uh, Qantas 52 is due, in at Bris due into Brisbane at 4.40pm, uh, 11 and a half hours late. Wow. Wow. That is crazy, yeah. Wow. It was due in at 5.10 this morning. Mm -hmm. And it's, wow, it's, yeah, it's going to be close to 12 hours. <laughs> That is not fun. That's that's not a good day. Cooper, yes. I got that well wrong, didn't I? At 4.58 just after sunset. That's an hour before sunset. Mate, I, I was, um, I'm thinking, what am I thinking? Daylight time or something? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, made a bit of a mistake there. Thanks for correcting me, though. <laughs> One of the Dash 8s, the Q400s, the Qantas Link Q400s heading out. Just beginning its taxi. Matt's got a, a beautiful shot of the city on the Mac cam. I love it. Nice and clear today. Yeah. Uh, Francis, good morning from South Africa. Weather looks a bit better than it did this morning. Yeah, it's cleared up. It certainly has cleared up somewhat. There's, there's still some showers around, and I would not be surprised if we see one at some point, but we're good, we're good at the moment. Anything can happen. It's, it's Queensland. <laughs> <laughs> They'll say it's clear, and then we have a downpour. Yeah, yeah. And then two minutes later, it'll be uh, sunny blue skies again. Back to summer again. So that Dash 8 going, to, going over to Matt's side, going to 01 left. Enjoy your Bonza flight back up. Oh, mate, that was, um, I tell you what, that was actually really good. I rate Bonza. I rate it. Um, heaps better than Jetstar. Yeah. Heaps. Um, yeah. They got it sorted, do they? They, yeah. they got it sorted. It was good. I mean, the flight was a little bit delayed because the plane was late uh, arriving, but they, they turned it around fast. Oh, yeah. Uh, and we, it was only maybe 45 minutes late or something like that. Um, but yeah, I rate Bonza. The seat was great. The Max 8. Yeah, very comfortable. I mean, it, to be honest, it's just as noisy as the old NG, but... Um, what row were you in? Uh, just behind the wing, 18. 20 and 19, was 19, it? 19. Probably why it was a bit loud. Yeah, like, probably. Yeah, I sit... In, most of the time, I sit anywhere from row 25 towards the back, depending on the size. Yeah. Um, and I found in row 27, the last time I was on Bonzo, it didn't sound as loud as what... The NGs do. So. Yeah, okay. But um, that's me. No, I, I just <laughs> really like the seat because they're nice and thin. They so are. it makes that seat pitch appear to be more. Yep. It feels like more. It does feel like more space. Yeah. And because of also the freshness of the cabin and yeah. interior as well, it it's makes, all brand new. It's just, brand new. The yeah. smell. Yeah. It's nice. It's well lit. Yeah. It, even when they got the. the yeah, I like the, the mood lighting. Yeah. yeah. Isn't it great? It just really makes the flight. Yeah. And I love the touch of I love that this changes colours for uh, for for landing and takeoff obviously yeah. as well. Yeah. I, I love that the seats. Just little touches. The seats are a caro. I think that's so good. See, that's 
until you were talking about that the other day, I didn't even realise there were different branded seats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you know, I'm like, oh, okay. This, this I just, new. I just love seeing that branding. I think that was awesome. No, they're definitely a comfortable seat. Yeah. Because when I first saw it, the first time I'm like, oh, this is not going to be comfortable. Yeah, it doesn't look it hard. when you first see it. It's like, oh, that's really, really thin and. Ah, oh, here we go. <laughs> Peter's um, Peter's reminding me there's an arrival coming in. Thanks, mate. <laughs> uh, almost missed it. Jetstar. Oh, wrong one. Jetstar 818. The 320 coming in from Sydney onto 01 right. Oh, is it? Yeah. It's quite rare. Yeah. Especially out of Sydney. Yeah. I had the um, I had the combo. I had a food combo thing on board as well. It was too much food. Way too much food. Um, what you have? Uh, it was. I'm trying to remember. It was a. Uh, it was like a banana waffle, banana bread waffle thing. Uh, some cheese puff things. I don't know what they were. And I had the snag in a bag. I've had the snag in a bag. Yeah, which yeah. was... It was all right. It was okay, but it, it just made such a mess. Yes. It flakes everywhere. <laughs> it was, it the just bread <laughs> was just... It just crumbled. It just... <laughs> I, I I mean, the floor was just bread. Yeah, I, I was embarrassed as I was eating. Yeah. Bite. That's the only, only thing I would say yeah. that I had a bit of an issue with with Bonzo. Was yes. As you're biting it, it's just falling apart all over the yeah. table. Yeah, that was the only <laughs> downside to that. To that, But, I mean, yeah. I mean, it was, it was acceptable otherwise and not too yeah. expensive. So. And you didn't have to pay extra for the sauce. No, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah it came with it. It was part of it. <laughs> And I like that you could, um, I like that you just order it on your phone and it just sort of got delivered. That's yes. so much better than having to wait for them to come around. Yes, yes. There was um, like usually at the back of the aircraft on budget airlines, you're the last set. Yeah. So and all the good stuff sold out by that point. Yeah. But this in-seat, two-seat service, I think that is just a huge game changer. Yeah, 100%. And I'm, I'm sure it will get followed. I'm uh, sure. Especially Jetstar by all the budgets, yeah. yeah. Yeah, Jetstar won't be far behind. Anything. Not having to go up and down with a trolley. Yeah, like, that, it just makes, that makes the experience a little bit better too. Yeah. Because if you need to, it's no one's blocking the aisle. Yeah. And you can just walk. Yeah, it makes quite the difference. Yeah. And you don't see them. If no one's ordering anything, the aircraft, the whole cabin's quiet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah, no, I'll definitely be flying bonds more and more. Especially if they keep their fares this cheaper. Yeah. Oh, I, actually, I saw um, some. Uh, here we go. Give them a good plug here. I saw some um, some thirty nine dollar fares uh, yesterday between uh, where is it? Between Sunny Coast and Newcastle. Yes. Um, so cheap. So cheap. I actually booked. I did book from Newcastle to uh, not to Brisbane to Sunny Coast for about thirty five bucks oh. on Bonza. I mean, how <laughs> it, it, it feels like Ryanair. Yep. It's it's like. It's like Ryanair. I don't know if we're currently, they're just spoiling us a little bit. And, yeah. And then all of a sudden... Get some market share. Yeah. <laughs> I'd love to see them successful, though. I really would. So because would uh, we, we need it. We need, we need some more uh, competition here in Australia. Oh, definitely. Especially in regional Australia. Yeah. Regional, regional airfares. Regional, yeah. We need heavy and they're competition doing, out there. They're doing some of them routes, which is great. Which is, yeah. And that, when they came into Toowoomba, I just went, yes. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, You've got some fantastic videos from there. I, f I can't believe how close you can get. Two metres from the apron you can get. That's incredible. So from here yeah. to that corner. That's amazing. That's how close I can get. <laughs> oh, I love that. Love it. And there's, there's the, that's the fence. And then around to behind me is the hangars. Yeah. And you can and there's a road there. You can just walk backwards and forwards. They're cool as long as you stay within that area. So what is it? Like a, a, a public road or, or, or what? Is it just a... Yeah, Grassland? It's a full-on public road, like it's a four-lane road out to the terminal. Um, it was built like capital city type, so future-proofed, everything's been future-proofed. Future, future -proofed. Yeah. And um, they, the extensions to the apron that were marked for the Boeing facility 
haven't been done yet. So that's the area where we're all standing and taking photos. Ah, and stuff. right. Yeah. The one that you saw me from across the other side of the airfield, there's bus bays that have that aren't used as bus ah, bays yeah, yet, okay. and you can pull up in there and just do what you want. So it's pretty good. Still waiting for the gate for Jetstar. Uh, Pete Johns, 350 people watching and only 295 likes. Get those things going. Oh, yeah, we're, we're, we just ticked over 300. What are we at? 304. 304 likes on today's stream. Thank you, everyone. Uh, if you haven't already hit the like button, please, please do. Please do hit that button. It helps us so much. And we, we really do appreciate it. And uh, thank you uh, to... Got, uh, Kath Media's here as well. G'day, Kath. Oh, hello, Kath. Uh, Francis Van Heerden as well. Sorry, I probably missed uh, some of those. You have. <laughs> Matt's just uh, keeping quiet over there on the other side of the car park. <laughs> it's hard to talk with the latency sometimes. Well, yeah, I mean, it's sometimes about... it's not worth it. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, yeah, uh, yeah well, uh, it's unfortunate. That's uh, technology for you. It's, it's pretty good yeah. that we can do what we do. But yes, unfortunately, there is about a second and a bit of latency uh, between the two of us, even though he's only... <laughs> well, how far off are you? Not far. It'd be 25 metres. But probably better off shouting, actually. Uh, what do you reckon? <laughs> There's the Mac cam. There he is. <laughs> Hi, Matt. You got the bunny in my pocket, I just realised you <laughs> I can see that bunny oh, since yeah. you went over there. I'm like, does he know he's got the bunny in his pocket? I, I, <laughs> I promise, I promise it's a bunny. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, what do we got? What do we got pushing back? One of the Qantas 73s, I think, here. Yeah, it's uh, Matt's got eyes on Qantas 988, which is uh, about to line up on 01 left. That one's heading to Mackay. And then we've got a Rex 73 arriving very shortly on uh, 01 right. Uh, Cooper's asking uh, Terry, let us know where you spot from. Oh, I was just reading that, yeah. yeah. Um, uh, what I'll do, mate, is I'll drop a pin on a Google map and I'll post it in the Discord. Sounds good. Uh, I reckon we're going to get the Rex first. Here we go. Rex 348 about to touch down on 01 right. Qantas. Qantas 988 is rolling over on 01 left. Oh, hot vipers. Yes, the 747 still goes to Toowoomba. It goes once a week, every Tuesday evening. Ah, oh, right. Is it only once a week now? Yeah. The Cafe Pacific. Yes. 747-8. Yes. And it usually lands anywhere between half past five in the afternoon and 8.30. Oh, so you Wrong still way. get light sometimes. Yeah. Um, and then it usually departs anywhere from 8.30 through to 10.30. Right, okay. Yeah. But it's not during the day anymore, which is unfortunate. But I am hearing that there are more and other airlines thinking about bringing their 747 Really? Because it is quite a popular. Thing. Why is that? Is it is it just because it's cheaper? Uh, possibly. That, yeah. Because he's not like that. The fact that Bonds is flying in and out of there tells me that it's definitely yeah. like, that their landing uh, costs, costs uh, and yeah. stuff, airport usage is not high. 
Um, so, but I am here in Singapore. Yeah. Silk. Yeah. Um, and I have heard of another cafe, but yeah, we'll see when that happens. They do make the announcements, and all you have to do is just monitor their Facebook page, and that'll tell you everything. Yeah, cool. That would yeah. be awesome. Yeah. Uh, how uh, how long is the runway there at Toowoomba? Hey, now that is—that's a great question. <laughs> it's over two and a half kilometres. I'm not Let me just double yeah. check. Uh, it's not quite as long as Legacy, but I'm pretty sure it's the same length as the new one here. Right. Okay. Let me just uh, double check. Legacy's three and a half here. It is. Yeah. All right. Next arrival, Virgin Seven Zero Five from Hobart, coming in on zero one right. Length for the Well Camp runway is 2.87 kilometres. 2.87? Yep. So it's long enough for virtually anything? Pretty much, yeah. Uh, it could take an A3, we've been told it could take an A380 at a pinch, but not full. So, yeah. But I've seen plenty of fully loaded 747s take off out of it. Yeah, okay. And yeah, it's it's simple there up yeah. three quarters of the way. Well, and, and, run right and, lift take off. and rocketing too. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Aiden Buchanan's here, g'day mates. Good afternoon. Rampy boys having a feed, too busy to meet the arrival. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Caf Media, will you guys be streaming next weekend? Yeah, that's the plan, Caf. Uh, I don't know exactly when, but yeah, we'll, we'll be here. We'll be here. Uh, David Goober's off. Uh, we'll see you in the next one, mate. Happy Easter. Qantas uh, 1078 heading to Mount Isa. Uh, D Max here, g'day D Mac, welcome. Uh, so is Skittles, g'day Skittles. Happy, hello. Uh, happy Easter. Yeah, hello Skittles, hope you're doing well. Patrick's asking for uh, for Tezza to push Tezza up about two decibels. Oh yeah, okay. I can do that. There we go. How's that? Hopefully that's better. Let us know, mate. <laughs> media watching uh, border security at the same time seems fitting <laughs> here in Brizzy I hope I don't mind a bit of border security <laughs> yeah no it's good I, I, I enjoy it from time to time just some of the excuses why they didn't declare something that was explained in 10 oh days. yeah I know <laughs> it's so funny to watch yeah <laughs> you get them filming here every so often yeah you said that in a stream a couple of weeks ago yeah yeah I didn't know that they were yeah. actually doing that in Brisbane, but I knew they always did it in Sydney and Melbourne, but I didn't know they were doing it here. Yeah, I don't think it's as common, but they were, yeah, they, they, they made their way around a, a fair bit um, over a couple of days, actually. Oh, wow. But I, they said it takes two years before, it, before, it, uh, before it's aired. I don't know if that's really? true or not. Maybe they have to wait. Yeah. Maybe they have to wait. Maybe there's like a... Is that a security thing? Yeah, maybe there's some, some sort of law maybe that maybe. prevents them from uh, prevents them from doing it for whatever reason. I would have thought six months, but yeah. I don't know. They, uh, they had me on camera on time, so I gave them a little wave. 
<laughs> or five seconds of fame. <laughs> you photo bomb or camera bomb, you just <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Uh, what do you got eyes on there, Matt? That's a, uh, oh, that's a Fokker if I've ever seen one. A Fokker 70 in from Rockhampton, uh, operating Virgin 1246. Coming in on zero one left. And uh, Made in Australia going and dropping in another $5 super chat. Thank you so much. Very, very kind, mate, but, uh, to do that again. Uh, you guys are becoming very, uh, becoming Ridgy Ditch every stream now. <laughs> Ri <laughs> Ridgy Ditch. <laughs> I love it. I love it. We just had, uh, oh, where is it? <laughs> Tried to get up on the camera. I've lost it. We had a simultaneous uh, parallel departure there. But uh, anyway, we'll go back to Matt on the Fokker 70 if he's going to pan on it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Thank you so much, Made in Australia. Aiden Buchanan is going to put himself into the lounge. Good on you, Aiden. Thank you, mates. Welcome. You'll get access to the uh, to the emojis in the chat. You'll get access from time to time to the uh, to the uh, members only streams that we do. We've done we've done one so far, but they will become more common. And uh, and also full access to Discord. Cross 58. Wind 100 degrees. One two knots. Runway zero one left. All right. Cooper reckons that uh, the. 315, the, sorry, the 359, the 330 900 of Air Callan is coming again next Friday and Sunday as well. Oh, really? Wouldn't that be funny? Bad income. <laughs> can't come down next week. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mate, you'll see it today. You'll see it today. As long yeah. as you're here till 6.20, that it arrives by the sounds of it. Oh, well, I've got a return ticket to the other side of the city that goes to last service. Oh, so. well, there you go. You've got plenty of time. <laughs> so, miles to... so we're expecting Air Callan in about two and a half hours' time. Someone in the Discord knows exactly where my spotting spots are. Oh, Mark. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> knows it very well. T-Bone, he calls himself. All right. Or their self. I do not know World Camp very well at all. I don't think I've ever been. Did you? You didn't go out and have a look at all the Virgin Jets that were out there? No. There was a, there was a ton of them out there. Oh, uh, yeah. And that was good fun. Well, it looked like a big, giant airport. The, the triple you know? seven. Was it just triple sevens? There was th seven three sevens and triple sevens and two A330s. Right, okay. Yeah. But there was also uh, Air Asia X had one stored there as well. Supposedly there's still a, a Virgin 330 in storage over in uh, Western Australia. I have heard that, yeah. I have heard that, but I, I can't find any info. Yeah. I mean, it. they don't own it. Um, no, but, no yeah, they only leased those. Yeah. yeah. What's that? Oh, it's gone. Ah, all right, so it's apparently it's gone. Oh, that's, I did see something. I think I saw something about that on the radar. They were on 24. They were they posted that. Uh, Carolyn's saying, is this where you uh, stream from in the early streams? Uh, where Matt um, is, yeah. We did, we did do a lot of streams up here, actually. Yeah. 
Yeah, we did. Um, we covered some of the single runway operations in the early days, didn't we? When they were when they were doing maintenance yeah. on the legacy runway, which uh, which they've been doing a bit in the last couple of weeks, actually. There's been uh, there's been a few time periods where where the legacy runway shut for uh, pavement uh, maintenance. Uh, Connors 58 there, coming in on 0-1 left on the Mac cam. 7-3 in from Port Moresby. You're getting pretty good at uh, the pans on that Mac cam. Heaps better than you used to be. Don't mess it up now, though. Oh, you like that? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, thanks. No, it is getting, it's getting a lot better compared to what you used to um, be like on it. I appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a comment and a... <laughs> it's a compliment uh, at the same time. Yeah, yeah, I'll take it. I'll take it for what it's worth. Uh, CAF Media records it's 12 months from filming. Longer if the crime is more serious. Well, that makes sense. That makes sense. Oh, that makes sense. It does make sense. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I guess it's just they, they have to. They can't. Yeah. They can't broadcast it until... Uh, Believe. It's like anything going through a court. They can't talk about it. No, until after a no, that's stage. right. Yeah. yeah. There you go. You'll see me on there in 12 months' time. <laughs> Watch out for one of the uh, the bag boys. <laughs> the rampy boys, mate. Rampy boys. The rampy boys. <laughs> there's the uh, there's the Alliance Fokker 70 and the Queensland Reds decal. Uh, but Matt's got eyes on the Qantas Link Dash 8. Qantas 336 heading to Gladstone from 01 left. <laughs> Ahmed Safan's here. Hello, mate. Happy Easter. is also on 01 left, Connors Link 1884, the E-Jet off to Cairns. I'll get this one and then I'll, uh, I might come over, get some uh, H2O. And, and mint slices. slices. Yeah, and I was about to, to say, you'll be, you'll be into the mint slices <laughs> and... Uh... They're all yours, bro. <laughs> Go for it. Oh. <laughs> Mate, the packet's coming with me. The packet is going with me. I'm may fine. as well. You may as well. I promise you, we haven't touched it. <laughs> I can hear that. <laughs> Don't let me get Peter onto you. <laughs> the bouncer sitting here in the corner. Yeah. <laughs> Everything's on uh, zero one left at the moment. You might have to wait for another arrival first, Matt. Because uh, uh, all, yeah, the, all the action's over there. Right now. Oh, it's yeah. a little while away. What's that? I'm enjoying that. Coming in on zero left. Ah, oh, the 700, 737, 700 next coming in on, on zero one left. Terry's favourite. <laughs> oh, I'm going to have to wait. Now. Yeah, you have to, yes. I've been standing in this area for four hours now, waiting to see one. And this is the first one I've seen today. Yeah, <laughs> but they all come at the same time. We'll see, do, yeah. we'll see about five in the next hour. Yep, yep. Oh, it's already snuck past me, actually. 
Yeah, there it is. Virgin 782 coming in from Cairns. <laughs> and Ahmed Safan, he's just gone and uh, he's just gone and put 10 new members up in the lounge. Mate, thank oh, wow. you. Thank you so much. He's awesome. Oh, yes. Isn't he great? We love Ahmed. Thank you, mate. Uh, Q, Zane, Asmo, Designates, Allison, uh, Nicholas, Dmac, Ballistic, Howard, and Marco. All getting memberships courtesy of Ahmed. Uh, you guys will all get access to the to the emojis in the chat and uh, full access to the Discord server if you choose to join. And uh, and members only streams from time to time. So welcome, guys. And thank you so much, Ahmed. That is very kind, mate. Perfect Easter present, everybody. It's VBZ too. I've flown on this one so many times. VBZ. Now, yeah. is this is this um, one of the X KLMs or is it actual Virgin? No, this was the Virgin. Right. VBZ. Yeah. VBY and VBZ. VBY was the Blue Fifty. Right. Yeah, and then VBZ was just that. Two days. But yeah, this one usually does the trips up north. Hamilton Island. I've seen them up there before. Yep. Uh, Singapore A380, is that is that almost going overhead, is it? Uh, unfortunately, the cloud cover's come over again and we probably won't be able to see it. It's a bit overcast. Especially in that direction where it will be. This way, yeah. yeah. Yeah, no chance. Is it overhead? Where is it? Not quite. He's still uh he's just crossing North Strati now. Ah oh, yeah, okay. I can see that. And it still looks sunny here, but the cloud is is above us. Uh, Matt T celebrating three months in the lounge. Uh, hi from Chile on holidays. Oh. Uh, windy crosswind landings here. You're in Chile. What an awesome, uh, awesome holiday. Well, good on you, Matt. Thank you so much for uh, for your ongoing support, mate. And uh, well, have a great time. Have a great time. Definitely. Matt's got eyes on uh, Virgin 376, Fokker 100, uh, operated by Alliance. Oh no, Telstra. <laughs> uh, coming in from Townsville, we had a little bit of a break up there. It's, it's come back, it's come back. I'm beginning to wonder how much longer Virgin's going to have this agreement with airlines. It's got to be. It's got to be a long time with all these Max yeah. aircraft delays. Um, surely, because they. I know they have got plans to get something like a, a regional jet, but yeah. they're not going to be deployed in Queensland. That's for Western Australia. So yeah. Um, I just yeah. I don't know what they're going to replace it with if, well, they, if that agreement ever comes to an end. I mean, it's got to be. Uh, it's got to be the Max 7s, I guess, that were planned to do the... Yeah. Surely planned to do these sort of routes, but... Yeah. yeah. Interesting one. <laughs> Patrick's still saying I don't have a Camelback water pack. It's not a bad idea, is it? It's actually... That's pretty clever. <laughs> a Camelback... Water pack. Water pack. Is that one of the ones you... Ca yeah, Camelback. Is that the ones where you have the straws mm -hmm. out from the backpack? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> right. Be good for work, actually. Uh, Cooper reckons uh, Singapore has contrails. So maybe you'll see it when it goes overhead, uh -huh. over your direction, maybe. I know it'll be, uh, it'll be quite far west, though, I reckon, by that point. Yeah, it's near Carindale now. So south. The wind's really picked up. Yeah, and as you say that, it drops off. Yeah. <laughs> I 
There is that Virgin 737-700. Uh, Gino Finelli, how long are you on for? Well, we plan to be here until um, just after sunset. We'll see We'll see how we go, though. Uh, we, we, we definitely want to wait for this Air Callan 330neo. Uh, but we'll, we'll see. We'll see how we go. We don't, uh, we don't plan, we don't plan our times uh, too much. We just sort of, uh, we wing it, don't we? Excuse the pun. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't saying anything, I was just waiting. <laughs> <laughs> ah! What's that, Matt? You're right, buddy. Oh, Are you okay? Oh, no. Uh, you're wearing <laughs> pluggers, aren't you? Oh man! Nah, it's your own yeah, fault. I am. It's your Trying own fault. <laughs> right on the sharp bit here too. Oh. It's the only bit here, mates. Maybe, maybe one day you'll learn. <laughs> wear, oh, wear, never. Wear some closed shoes. When I was out of well, that was a perler. That one was. Oh, mate! It sounded like it hurt. <laughs> oh, poor fella. <laughs> When I was out at well camp, I should have wore I something. I bit my tongue then. A... I have no doubt. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to look for this, um, for Singapore, but this, there is a cloud, a low cloud, right over the field yeah, there. I, I reckon it, that's right where it is. Too. I think it'll be very hard to spot uh, with, with the current weather. Uh, Sarah Dial, hello again. Hello, Sarah. Thank you for joining us this afternoon. Happy Easter. Stephen Coleman's here. Hello, mate. Just under two hours from sunset here in Brisbane. A uh, nice shot of the sky there, Matt. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, I'm just, I'm still looking out for Singapore. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah, well, you won't see it up there. <laughs> yeah, look nah, at that. It's not going to happen. Look at that cloud cover. Not, not a chance. Yeah. Oh, Matt T saying three in the morning here. I'm still jet laggy. Good to see a stream from the other side of the world. Great stream as usual, guys. Thank you, Matt. Yeah, that jet lag. It's tough, isn't it? It's tough. If you haven't already hit the like button, please, please do. We're at 359 so far, but I'm sure most of you probably already have. But if you haven't already, please do hit that button and uh, it helps us so much. We're very, very appreciative. That's a shocking dad joke, that one. What's that? Oh, in the chat? Yeah. <laughs> what do we got? What do we got? My cat was just sick. My cat was just sick on the carpet. I don't think it's feeling well, feline well. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Stop it, OPN bot. It's one of the only times that actually responds to commands when you <laughs> drop the dad joke one. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he's definitely become more reliable. Um, I, I've done a bit of work on him recently, so hopefully cool. he's... Uh, Hopefully he hangs around. A little bit more responsive. Yes. <laughs> Might head back your way. 
get some HTO. Mind your feet. Mind your feet on the way back. Oh, that was a crack. That was a cracker. That was. Oh, nothing. Nothing hurts more than bloody kicking your toe. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, terrible. I'm lucky it was the big toe. If it was the little toe, yeah, it would have been game da over. Day done. Day done. <laughs> Day done. <laughs> there would have been some bleeps. <laughs> We're looking at Virgin 336, which is heading to Melbourne. Anthony Wright's here, afternoon from uh, Ipswich. Hello, mate. Oh, look up, we'll wave to you. <laughs> <laughs> here we go, version 336 rolling. Oh, there's more than one bunny. I, I, I Peter, Peter and... Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, version 336 heading to Melbourne. Straight into the mid slices. Um, put the camera down, that was it. Bang. <laughs> Get in my belly. What's that, Matt? A lot of rain. It could be coming this way, you know. Uh, some rain. I haven't, I haven't looked at the radar, but uh, I wouldn't be surprised. We uh, we packed up on Friday. We were here on Friday, and as we packed up, the rain just started blowing in as we were closing the last door on the car. So we were very lucky. Oh, the radar's nothing. Really? Surely that's wrong. All oh, right. Maybe we're good. Maybe we're good. Clear it up. Big Owls here. Hello, mates. Good morning, guys, from the UK. As usual, a fantastic stream again. Thank you. And happy Easter to you, Big Owl. Uh, Cooper reckons the air Callan's due in at 6 o'clock now, local time. So uh, it's about two hours from now. Yeah, he put the, his foot down. The 3.30 Mio. Rehan Fernando, happy Easter to all from Sri Lanka. Hello, Rehan. Is that a 
Fokker doing engine runs over there, Matt? Is that what's going on? It's usually where they do it, isn't it? When I was here last time, they were doing that over there. Right. And it was, remember how loud it was yeah. in the headset? It is. It is we, really noisy when it does. It took us like 15 minutes to work out where it was coming from. Yeah. We might, we might be hearing that very shortly then. <laughs> Brad, 1000 flight level, just dropped a joke. What happened to the Easter Bunny when he misbehaved at school? I don't know, John. Uh, Brad, could you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't like the, where this one's going. <laughs> Family channel. Family channel. He was expelled. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I wasn't expecting. You were. <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> I didn't see the spelling. I didn't get it. <laughs> <laughs> No engine run up yet. I can't hear anything yet from that uh, that Fokker over there. Gino, how long are you on for, mate? We we don't know. We don't know. At least till uh, just past. Well, probably. Uh, well, it's going to be quite a bit past sunset at this rate. Um, at the very earliest, 6 p.m. But I imagine we'll go longer. I already want summer to come back. Summer? Yep. <laughs> Mate, I, I tell you what, <laughs> it, it gets very cold up here with that wind chill uh, uh -huh. in the winter. So um, I'll be I'll be in a thick coat in no time, I think. <laughs> Even though I'm from Toowoomba, I don't like the cold. Yeah. Just putting that out there. Hate cold weather. I just, no. No. <laughs> I was born in the tropics. And uh, then but it, came it, down it gets very cold there at night, though, out in oh, Toowoomba, oh, doesn't oh, it? Oh, mate, that wind chill factor. Yeah, oh, it gets chilly. <laughs> I, I can remember walking home when I was a lot younger, walking home from the clubs at 2, 3 o'clock in the morning, and the wind chill factor was like yeah, minus 10. 10. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> People <laughs> wondered, how did you do that? Yeah. I'm like, you drunk, you know. Not yeah, right. Keep walking fast. Just walk fast. Uh, so, Qantas 5.43 taxiing out. That one's going to Sydney, so I imagine that's going to be heading out on 01 right. Nice short taxi. Probably down to Alpha 7, I reckon. Oh no, it's going left. Why is it going to um What's going on at the moment? Why why are they using uh zero one left so much for a Sydney departure? That seems really odd. Unless we've we haven't had a runway switch, have we? The wind is coming pretty hard in terms of a tailwind now, isn't it? Yeah, it's very southeast, actually. Oh we have had a runway yeah. switch. We have. Radar has confirmed it. We're on one nine operations now. Two switches <laughs> in one day. Yeah. yeah. We've had three before. Oh, left, yep. But there we go. So so we've been sitting here wondering why nothing's happening, but I no, guess uh, they've just been clearing the airspace for this uh, runway switch. Rescue 43 required to remain east of runway 19 left at all times. Additional traffic is quite a 737 lining up only. Water departure runway 19 left. 
only the I struggled to hear what he said there. I, I, I'm pretty sure. I think I did hear something around the way, but I just on my line. Yeah. Par rescue helicopter. Oh, is he coming in, is he? Matt, see if you can uh, get a visual on rescue. Uh, I'm assuming that's rescue 533. Sorry. Where's it coming from? Uh, Brisbane? Yeah, coming from the hospital, yeah. Uh, Connors 543 lining up on uh, 19 left. So first, uh, first aircraft to depart uh, after the runway switch. 19 left. I think uh, I think Matt might have visual. Oh, he does. Look at that. Uh, Rescue 533 cleared to land on Hotel 2, which is the other side of the active runway. Oh, I can hear that run up now. Mm -hmm. The mid slices are trying to blow away. Have your last two. <laughs> <laughs> there goes Qantas 543 heading off to uh, Sydney. Touching down there over in front of the uh, Qantas Link hangar on a Hotel 2 taxiway. I'll tell you what, that Fokker over there is noisy, isn't it? Uh, the wind's probably preventing that from coming through uh, too well on the mic, but um, yeah, very noisy. Jose uh, Moran, good afternoon mates from South Africa, happy Easter to you guys, enjoying your show here with an early morning coffee, 8am over there, well good on you mate, uh, welcome, thank you for tuning in, happy Easter to you as well, uh, the saga of Blitz, hello I'm new here, welcome. Uh, Rehan, yes, there is a 380 here at the moment. The uh, Emirates 380. Uh, it doesn't depart until much later tonight, though, about 9 p.m. There it is. Oh, no, Mac Cam's breaking up. <laughs> oh, no, we got it back. There it is. Is that the space bed? It is, yeah. Yep. Special cool. livery on the, on the Emirates 380 today. Gino, Gino Finelli wants a night stream. Mate, uh, we're overdue, aren't we, again? We'll, we'll get one soon, I think, mates. Stay tuned. Oh, they're off again. Matt, <laughs> your, your mint slices are blowing away. You've got to eat them. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, waiting for that Connors, which is just pushed back, waiting for it to begin its taxi. We got a Rex Saab. Saab. A little Saab. That's actually one of the first Saabs we've seen today. We don't. I not, haven't seen one yet. No. <laughs> they're uh, they're very quiet on the weekends, aren't they? The Saabs. Yeah. Yeah. No, not much regional uh, flying going on. Well, it's really only the the Saabs in Queensland really only serve the western. West of Brisbane and then up through to Mount Isa. Yeah, yeah. And then when you get up there, they do a bit up there. But, uh... Well, this one's heading to uh, Roma. Sorry, that was my phone. Oh, was that <laughs> your ringtone? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's all right. And, uh, yes, we're back on one, runway 19 operations now. So we started off on 19s, or, or, it, or it switched when we were setting up. I've been here for a couple of hours by then. Yeah. And it was all. all Everything's 1-9, nine nine, yeah. And then literally as soon as you guys started up back at it, it flipped. Which works well for the mat cam over the other side. It does, yeah. Get awesome views from over there, especially on landing. Regan Farmer putting himself up into the lounge. Good on you, Regan. Thank you so much, mate. Welcome. Thank you for your support. And uh, you'll get access to all the, uh, all, the, all the channel perks now. We've got Virgin uh, 962 heading off here. Heading to Sydney from uh, zero, oh, sorry, I was about to say zero one. One nine are left. I always get confused when we've just had a switch. Uh, Reheim, we only get one A380 a, a day at the moment, but that will become two later on this year. Uh, one of the 777 services will be upgraded to an A380. So we can't wait for that. That's going to be one for our night streams, that one. It'll be a late arrival and a very, very early morning departure. And uh, there is Virgin 962, which is heading to Sydney from 19 left. It is starting to get nippy, eh? Hey? It is. It's starting to curl down, it, that's for sure. Yeah, it definitely is. Everyone's probably like, what are you talking about? 25 degrees Celsius. <laughs> wind chill factor. Yeah, peaks. wind chill. And no sun. We don't have the sun on us here. No. We're in the shade. Now, this time of the day, the sun has gone way over there. Yeah, you've got to be here quite early to actually um, to get any sun in this location. Far earlier than I'm willing to be here, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Let's make three of that. <laughs> All right. One. I've tried getting you here early. Yeah, I'm just not an early person. I'm not an early person at all. Neither am I in winter. <laughs> just stay in bed. Yeah. It's warmer. Unless I've got to go to work, of course. Yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> Here we go, Connor 757 coming in from Townsville. One nine rights. That's a long way away there. The threshold of one nine rights about three k's or is from here. Yeah, 
Uh, Mrs. Professor, hey guys, just curious if mint slices are like Tim Tams uh, from California and only heard of Tim Tams recently. Yeah, I actually, I reckon they are. They're very similar, but with uh, with like a mint. Um, uh, I don't like know what you would call creamy it. Stuff creamy stuff. Creamy, yeah, yeah, like a yeah, a flavoured cream. Yeah, inside and they're round it. also. Yeah, and they're round. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, they they would be. I mean, they're the same company, aren't it? <laughs> Made by the same company. Yes. But a very Australian. I thought they're more like, like a dark chocolate rather than. No, they're definitely milk yeah, chocolate. Like milk chocolate. No, I think they're the same chocolate. I'd be yeah. very, I'd be very, very surprised so. if they're different, mate. No, oh, I know yeah. mint slice pretty well. You're gonna, go, you're gonna make me get the. <laughs> I wouldn't recipe say it's dark. Yeah, but, but you don't know Tim Tams very well. Yeah, do it. <laughs> I do actually. Oh, I know them too well. You do. <laughs> Tim Tam slam, man. Tim Tam slam. Uh, Absolutely. Jason Hopkins is celebrating four months in the lounge now. Jason, that is that's incredible, mate. Four months now. Has it been that long? He'd have to be one of the first. Yeah. yeah. They're one of the first in that in that first uh, few weeks, that's for sure. Thank you, mate, um, for your ongoing support. Uh, saying, wow, four months has gone quick. Keep it up, guys. Thank you. I'm four months and 13 days. Is that how long it's been? Yeah. Four months and 13. Uh, we must have people hitting the five. No, we do have five months, don't we? Huh? Is there any at five? We're almost at six. Uh actually don't know. Are we? I thought I thought it was four. Maybe. We're probably nearly five now. You haven't seen any purple badges popping up yet in the chat. So. No, no, so we're, we're a bit off that. Uh, Qantas 134. Can't coming, be far. Coming in from Christchurch. My one-handed pans are terrible. I really have to use two hands. <laughs> I'm sort of half reading the chat and in the Discord at the same time. Oh, all right. Yeah. <laughs> What's going on in the Discord? Mischief. A lot of, lot of, lot of larrikinism in the Discord as, as, as normal. Oh, Matt's made it. You've, oh, you've, no, it doesn't sound like us. You've no, made it up to the other end of the car park. Show us, the, show us something new. <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> Not the sky. There we go. I'm still setting up. <laughs> All right. Uh, Matt Cam's in uh, in Matt Cam position. I reckon this is the best shot, best position for Matt Cam. It is. I came in on zero one centre this you, morning. Oh, you did. That's right. Yes, I did. Oh, look at all the Fockers parked oh, up there right. yeah. in, in a line. Now that is definitely the Fokker nest to that. Yeah, you know what? That would make a great thumbnail if you could get down there, Matt. Oh yeah. Look at Yeah. Get all the tails together. Uh, Actually, yeah. It would, wouldn't it? Airline Nerd, um, b &E has A380 stands. Yes. Uh, it's got three, I believe. Is it three stands for the 380s? That's uh, four, I think. Four? Yeah. Pretty sure Pete's come to join you. Oh, man. Pete? Pete's heading on down, mate. <laughs> Uh, 250 meters, isn't it? We worked it out. Someone measured it. Was it, it was, you? Yeah, no, it wasn't me. But oh. I did see that number. It was 258 or something. Or yeah. Something oh like no, that, actually, yeah. it was Pete. It was Pete that measured yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, 248 meters uh, That's it. walk down to uh, where Matt is, at the other side of the car park. It is a hell of a walk. Yeah, yeah. it is. It yeah. is. Yeah. I've done it quite a few times. With a camera on your back, it feels like 300. <laughs> yeah. At least we've uh, downsized <laughs> your battery. You used to take a much bigger back, bigger battery around, but we've we've managed to downsize that. Everything's a bit more efficient now. Oh, I'm sure there's plenty of people out there in the chat remember how heavy mobile phones used to be. Oh. And how big they used to be. I know. You would have had one. I had a brick. Yep. I yep. had a brick. My parents didn't so much have a brick, but it was the first of the smaller ones. Yeah. And it was that thick. It was as thick as a brick, but it yeah, wasn't yeah. as wasn't as long as. Mine, a brick. mine had a little stubby antenna on it. Yep. Little Nokia. Yep. My first phone, Nokia 5110. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Wow. That, yeah, no, I'm selling my age too much now. 6310 rings a bell, I think, as mine. I can't remember. I don't remember the numbers. I, I had a... What did I have? A 6131. Oh, wow. 
I had a um, oh, flip phone. Yep. <laughs> yep. I had a, a that was my first phone. I was on the I was on the smartphone bandwagon before they were cool. Um, I had a I had a Palm Trio, I think it was. <laughs> yeah, right. uh, back in uh, uh, back in the mid two thousands. Oh wow. Yeah. With the little stylus. Little stylus, yeah. Touch screen, oh. full QWERTY keyboard on it. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Friend of mine had one of them. He got it through three mobile. Oh yeah. Yeah. Remember three? Everyone remember three? Three, mobile? yeah, three. When wow. before they got bought up, yeah. They're still around in the UK, actually. Are they really? Yeah. They've actually got their own infrastructure. Oh, wow. Uh, whereas they didn't ever have it here. No, they just piggybacked off Optus. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Matt's doing some car spotting down there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought I saw a little GI Yaris. It was hooking it around that roundabout. Come on about that Ferrari the other day. Yeah, how cool was that? Yeah. The green, the British racing green uh, Ferrari. It's actually a Ferrari 296, it was. Oh, wow. Brand new. No, oh, it looked awesome. I thought it was black. Was that green? Yeah, it's dark green, like a British racing green. Oh, okay. Yeah, I used I'll to have a Pulsar that colour. Uh, oh, did you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that exact colour. <laughs> <laughs> Not that it could be very, very close to it. It also had a pearl finish on it. So it was pretty schmick. Oh, nice. I miss that car. <laughs> Uh, Qantas Link EJ just about to touch down. Qantas Link 1924 from Hobart, down in Tassie. Uh, Marie's backing me up here. Dark chocolate for mint slice, light chocolate for Tim Tams. I see, I don't eat it, so I don't know. Oh, so it is different. Mm. Yeah, I don't, I, I don't, I don't yeah, intend I to you. eat too many biscuits. <laughs> I used to, and um, yeah, I cut back, I've cut back. Yeah, this is not too many business. It does, doesn't it? I, I, may, I, know, I know the feeling. <laughs> uh, and when they're freshly made, it's like, ugh, I can't resist. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Matt, what have you got <laughs> eyes on? <laughs> oh, oh, there we go. <laughs> what are you talking about? It's just the city. How do you think? <laughs> Uh, Tanya's here, joining us from NZ. Hello, Tanya. Uh, Howard Stern, joining us from LA. Welcome, Howard. Uh, Saga of Blitz. No, we're not pilots. Neither of us are pilots. Well, Matt's a, a model aircraft pilot, I guess, if you could call it that. Um, <laughs> but no, yeah. we're, we're just uh, aviation fanatics, really. Uh, my dad's a pilot. Dry, flies the Dreamliner. That's right. He's actually uh, in the air at the moment. Actually, he might have just landed. He's flying a, a Dreamliner from Miami to Gatwick today. And that actually is said Gatwick, Matt? Yeah, it's Gatwick, Matt. <laughs> it's not... Um, Gatwick? Well, how else would you say? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but he got trouble. He Matt, definitely got Norwich. Yeah, <laughs> Matt would, uh, would say something else, I think. <laughs> I could do Gatwick. <laughs> oh... Gatewalk or something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Gatwitch. Gatwitch. <laughs> Gatwitch. <laughs> All right, we got uh, Annette Butler's here. G'day, Annette. Oh, hello, Annette. Ignore the boys, they're just ganging up on me. <laughs> me and, and Peter. Me and Peter are on our own end down here. We're just we're going to space ourselves yeah. from you guys. <laughs> Pete, Pete's made the walk down to um, to Matt at the other end of the car park there. Peter Jones. Uh, what are we? What am I doing here? Here we go. Uh, Fokker 100 coming in. One nine left. Virgin 11 eleven oh nine from Newcastle. I'll be on this flight in a month or so. I think I think it's this flight. Or maybe it's in the morning. Anyway, it's one of these. On this route. Is that for your trip to Newcastle? Yeah, I'm off to Newcastle for a night. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. Took Craig Murray's recommendation. Uh, and I have I've booked, uh, I think, row 18, which is just in front of the engine, isn't it? Yeah. Pretty much that last window uh, yeah. before it goes behind the engine. Like I said, you last one. Like you're going to love that. So that one. Oh, yeah. I'm so keen. Like so keen. Feel it right through your chair. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then I think I'm flying home on the Max 8, the Bonza Max 8. Yeah. You're going into sunny, aren't you? Yeah. I'm going, yeah. coming, I'm leaving from Brisbane and then coming, flying back into the sunny coast. 
That's so, I've never flown into the sunny coast, ever. Never I've done it. Anywhere. I've done it a few times now. Uh, I've flown to Sydney and uh, where else have I flown? Then I, I, I sunny coast. I like sunny coast. It, it wouldn't be as busy as no. here and, and Goldie, that's for sure. I um, flown out of the Gold Coast a couple of times. Yeah. Before it was upgraded. And well, we did that uh, last week. Yeah. Uh, it, it's convenient enough. Yeah. And, but when you're coming in from the west to here, so once you get this far, you're like, yeah, that's far enough. I'll just fly from here. Yeah. Um, but I have gone down to the Gold Coast a few times. Just because it was cheaper. Wow, well, that's why we did it. Yeah. Um, it was significantly cheaper. Yeah. I'm talking uh, $1,200. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Well, what? not each, but yeah. between us, yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. Crazy stuff. $1,200 is uh, <laughs> it's an amount I'm willing to save for a drive to the Gold Coast. <laughs> It um, wouldn't even cost you that much in fuel to drive down. No, 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 you no. Know? I mean, look, we got stung on parking. It was like $120 for four days, but... Oh, really? Yeah, that's all right. Uh, got free bags on the way back on Bonza. Did you? I did. We got we got $100 off our bags. So it was great. It was great. But the, it, their system wasn't working for some reason on the app, so we booked it, but then the, the tr transaction kept refunding. Okay, that's pretty good. Got to the airport, and they're just like, oh, we'll just let you on. Huh. Let your bags on. Was it a full flight coming back? Yeah, it was, yeah. Oh, okay, that is surprising. That they let you just on. Yeah. Did it? Yeah. Well, no, this was check Considering baggage. Considering we wouldn't have been the only ones. Yeah, check in. Yeah, this was check baggage, yeah. Free check bags, they let us on. No charge. That's so cool. He's, that's lucky. It is lucky. Yeah. Jetstar wouldn't be so good. Generally. No, that's it. I can say that now. We've had the flight. It's done, but... Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah thanks, Bonza. <laughs> Uh, we spent we, we spent that money on the uh, in-flight catering. Gosh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're giving a good plug for Bonza today. Oh we? yeah, mate. Uh, we <laughs> should uh, d we should do a deal with them. I reckon a bit of a, a partnership. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay. if it's a press app gigs, that means it's yeah. It's get made it. Get them into Brizzy. We need them. We need them to fly here, don't we? Oh yeah, that'd be awesome. Even uh, just between here and Sydney, you know? would be great. It would be great. Oh. Here, Sydney and Melbourne. We need Bonza. Sydney, Melbourne from Brizzy. Yep. Even up the, even it up a bit. Oh, look what we got here. Uh, the air train arriving on uh, zero one centre. <laughs> <laughs> They're going round South Brisbane at the moment. They're not going through South Brisbane. Yeah. They're going to and fro because of track work. Right, okay. So Closed for Easter. Yeah, they're going to... Um, they're going through the Tennyson loop. Right. Up and down, so... That's the only reason I got to seamlessly just walk off one train and onto the other because it's a slightly different timetable because of the change in... Yeah. Yeah. Brian Spenson's here. Hello, mate. Made it uh, like 395 for me. Been out kiteboarding. Dynamic duo, hello. And uh, all the plane spotting friends around the world. Uh, Robert says there is a dark Tim Tam. Yeah, I prefer the dark ones or the double chocolate coated ones. Brilliant. Love them. <laughs> Double coated. Modified. Double coated. Right. Although, yeah. I, uh, to be honest, I probably haven't had one in over a year, <laughs> uh, Tim Tam. And um, I'm going to try and keep it that way. <laughs> so, uh, no Tim Tam deliveries, please. <laughs> <laughs> We've got the Naked Alliance coming in. I'll take us to you. Uh, I better catch up here. I think I'm getting a bit behind. There's a lot. No, we have hit 400 likes. Thank you, everyone. Uh, Lumen, Lumen X, I think that is. How's it going, guys? Good mates. Thank you for tuning in. Happy Easter. Uh, Brian, no, Darb is, uh, I think he's lurking today. He couldn't make the chat. Busy. He did say something about that last night. Yeah. In the Discord, yeah. Oh, Cooper reckons, uh, let him know when uh, flights will be, might be able to spot 
yeah um, we'll uh, probably do that we'll probably let you know when we go to Sydney as well Kev, want Matt, Kev wants Matt's mic turned about down a bit no problem mate we'll see if that's any better yeah that's right Patrick <laughs> Matty tends to eat his mic and then backs off and then eats it again <laughs> he'll be he'll be quiet after this. Matt don't don't change how you're talking just talk the same <laughs> okay I need to I need to put the mic on my hat like Jerry does yeah because then that will um, it'll stay consistent it'll stay the same distance from your face uh, there is that uh, there plain is white uh, Embraer that just arrived over on 19 right this one's flown in and out to Wilmer a couple of times when Air North used to fly in and out of there. Yeah, okay. And I wondered why. I'm like, why is it naked? And I looked into it a little bit more, and they do. It gets, it, this one in particular gets leased to the three major airlines. Right. So, so they've just kept it. Yeah, they've kept, kept it, it plain. Yeah. 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 You don't want to be um, doing a Virgin flight of a Qantas livery. Yes. Uh, one of the one of the Fockers down there on startup, the Fokker 70 with the uh, Queensland Reds decal on it. And we've got uh, Jetstar 568 about to touch down from Melbourne. Paul is here. G'day, Paul. Happy Easter. Oh, hello, mates. You know what we need to do again? We need to get the uh, the, the the true Fokker cam going. Remember, remember when we did that trip down to um, the the museum, the the hangar. We, did you watch that stream? Oh yes, I did. Yeah, Gee, that's going back a bit. Yeah. To the uh, to the Fokker down uh, the Southern Cross. Yeah, yeah. That was pretty cool, actually. Doing a live walk, walk around of I that. Haven't. I've never been in there. Yeah, I, I don't think I have either. I've, I mean, I've seen it from the outside, but yeah. I've never been in. Ah, oh, Brian Morrison's here. G'day, mate. Welcome back. That's probably too quiet now. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Brian. Yeah, Brian Morris, Morrison. He's hit. He smashed the like button. Good on you, mate. Thank you. Still sees off to bed. Good on you, mate. Uh, talk to you soon. Hopefully, we'll catch you in the next one. Well, let's talk of the Fokker Twenty Eight going on. Yeah, I'm reading from that. Maxwell, first time he ever flew into the sunny coast, was on an F-28, a Fokker 28. A Fokker 28 into the sunny coast? That would right. have been just after they sealed the, oh, sealed the runway. Right. Back when it was in its heyday, like yep. the early day, yeah. Yeah, right. Uh, Ashley's... Johnny Big Mac's here as well. And Ashley's here. Hello, mates. Uh, yeah, Johnny Big Mac in Sydney for Easter. Just did a drive around to the airport down here and did some spotting. Bit hazy, but saw Qantas 1 take off over the bay. Awesome, mate. We are looking forward to getting down to Sydney to do some spotting. Uh, very jealous of that. Oh, yeah, they get a lot of heavies. <laughs> oh, yeah. Especially A380s. I just stand there in that section between Terminal 2 and Terminal 3 and just watch them coming and going and yeah. coming and going. I can do that for hours down there. We may be there sooner than uh, sooner than we thought as well. Uh, yeah, well, it could happen. Uh, well, we don't know yet, but uh, there's, there's plans in the making. That's for sure. Uh, I'll be down there in a month for something. Uh, for something. Oh, you're going to be down there in a month. Yeah. Well, we will too. But there's plans in the making for something else. So uh, we're just going to see if we can make it happen uh, soon. I got told by a friend of mine that. I want you down here for next month for his birthday. 
and he's 40, so... You're going out for a weekend or something? No, it'll be longer than that. Oh. <laughs> it'll probably be, probably be about a week or 10 <laughs> days. When you got free accommodation, it's... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Virgin 957 coming in here from Sydney and uh, I better get Matt Cam up because he's got eyes on the all-white Alliance in Brea. The Albino plane. Yeah. Plenty of ideas. <laughs> We've just got to make them happen. Like the cafe ideas with Darb last night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there we go. Look, Matt's, Matt gets really close to that down there. How good's that? How, how close? That's awesome, mate. How close can you get in to the to the cockpit there? Are they uh, still having some dinner or something? Or <laughs> did you watch this then, I did. I did. I was about to say that. <laughs> See the, 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 the second officer. Yep. <laughs> and he was hard when he did it. He was like... <laughs> oh. <laughs> what, what was it? Was it kebab or something? Was I, think, I think the consensus was it was a kebab. It was a kebab of some type. It was, you know, it was oh. a wrap of some type. Kebab or a sure. burrito. Yeah. yeah. How good was that? Oh, and I'm like, oh, I was just laughing so hard. Because he got such a clear shot of him doing it, yeah. he was a full mouth open, yeah. warm, straight in. Well, it was. Um, it was obviously it was a it was a night stream, wasn't it? Yeah. It was. Uh, you could, the lights were on in the cockpit. That was yeah. brilliant. I'm pretty sure it was from top of um, Bridges Car Park that he caught. Oh that. yeah, yeah. Because yeah. that is a good spot there. I've been up there a few times. Oh, we're looking forward to um, trying all the different spots. Oh, Johnny Big Mac uh, celebrating three months in the lounge now. Good on you, mate. Uh, love your work. Happy Easter, guys. Well, same back to you, mate. And, um, yes, hope you've had a great weekend down there in Sydney. We're, uh, we're getting closer to, to, to a few heavies, aren't we? We've got, we've got the Qatari coming in uh, soon. Uh, where's Qantas... Oh, I, was about to, I was about to say, where's Qantas 52? Is that it there? Uh, is that the next aircraft to arrive? The 12-hour the delayed Qantas 52? Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> ah, spidey senses. Yep. You got them. Uh, let, me, let me get it up on screen. Where are we? Got a Sabi in the head of it. No, from my neck of the woods. Yay. How's it come from Toowoomba? Yes, the the Saab. Little Saab come in before this. Uh, but there is Qantas 52, the 12 hour, or nearly 12 hour delayed Singapore service, the 350, sorry, the 330 200 from Singapore. It was due to arrive, or scheduled to arrive at 10 past 5 in the morning. <laughs> that is not a good day, is it? It is 11 and a half hours. Can you imagine? I mean, Singapore's a nice airport, but could you imagine sitting in there for 15 odd hours? No. 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 Unless you had lounge access, that would not oh, have been pleasant. Even in the lounge, 15 yeah, hours. It's a long time just sitting in, sitting in the lounge. Yeah. I mean, I've done it. I've done it in. Um, I've, I've been in lounges before where you've sat there for seven or eight hours on a long transit and, and wow, <laughs> it's not pleasant. How many times can you watch them swap the food over? Yeah. You know? And the staff come around looking at you a bit funny after four or five hours. Like, what are you, what are you still doing here? <laughs> delay. Delay. When I was in Sydney, I was delayed like that. Good thing I had lounge access. If I'm with Qantas, I usually get one of the... You can um, get those complimentary passes, can't you? Yeah. Um, I usually get one from someone that has one spare, get them to transfer it to me. 
There's been a couple of times I've been down here in the domestic terminal and like just randomly talking to random people on a on a vlog or something. Yeah. And um, they're like, "Oh, are you in the airport now?" And it's like, "Yeah." And it's like, oh, "I'll meet you at the front of the Qantas lounge. I can, I can oh, of you course. can be a guest." Yeah, and, it, then, yeah. Boom, and then you go. <laughs> if you're in business, you get um, is it one guest? One guest. Yep. And then if they pay. Are we back? Are we back? I think we're back. Potentially. Uh, all right, let's let's hope. <laughs> let's yeah. hope it came back. That was a bit That's of a. Weird. Yeah, you're up. Uh, yeah, no, it was weird. Uh, and the battery actually just died. That was, um, you know, you know the battery that we had. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. It just died, just out of nowhere. Really? Yeah. Apologies, guys, but we're back. We're back. Did it die or did it turn off? Uh, it, it, just, it just doesn't turn on. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, that's weird. Uh, it might be dead, like it might be run out, but I'm surprised if it is. Anyway, we're back. We're, we're, we're good. I did a quick hot swap. That was um, that was the quickest hot swap I've ever done. That was fast. <laughs> that was a masterful performance. Oh, thank you, mate. So you might have, might have missed me then, because uh, so Johnny Big Mac's asking when we're coming down uh, to Sydney. Ah, uh, Sydney. Uh, Sydney is planned for um, for when uh, Kevin Wellington flights live is here uh, in Australia. So um, the plan is when is it? Is it early May? It's not long. Yeah. It's not long. No, it's going to come up quick. Was it third of May? Second and third? Yeah, something like that. Ash is here as well. G'day, guys. Thought I'd better show my love. Appreciate it. Welcome back. Oh, good on you, mate. Hope you're doing well. I better, I better catch up here now. Uh, the four Aussie aviators are here. Hello, mate. Uh, Jack is in the chat. <laughs> oh, Patrick. <laughs> Oh, he's gone and dropped another 50 US in the PayPal link. Mate, that is just, uh, what, what do I say? <laughs> You're so generous, mate. That is just so kind. Done it again. Oh, yeah. One more before I have to request clearance to bed. <laughs> <laughs> mate, you've been uh, you've been an incredible uh, supporter of the show. You've just, <laughs> oh, I can't thank you enough, uh, honestly. You're a legend, Patrick. Yeah, sure abs are. absolute legend. And, and look, Patrick uh, is is also very, very generous with his time outside of the streams. Um, he, with with the tech, he's uh, he's a bit of a tech man himself, I think. So uh, he's uh, he's always helping us out, especially over in the Discord. Yes, I, I see him a lot in the Discord. Yeah. Well, Patrick's uh, an audio engineer, I believe, and um, and, and software coder. Uh, he's saying he's paying it forward, but I think that's that's more than paying it forward, mate. <laughs> no, honestly, Patrick, thank you, mate. Oh, Craig Morris saying hello from the loop. Oh, is he down there? Is he, he's come out for the, the 220. Oh, yeah. The I 220, yeah. How far away is that? And um, <laughs> you know what else is probably not far away? The Qatari triple. It isn't. Uh, Matt, that, that is an incredible back. shot. It is. I'm, I'm really enjoying yeah. this shot. I am. That is awesome. Mm. It, we don't often see it like that down there with the with the four Fockers parked on the remote stands in the background. And that's so good. 
I've been staring at that most of the time. Yeah. Because I can look there, and there's the A330. <laughs> Full house. But looking here, that is awesome. There's a thumbnail. Yeah, how about a thumbnail, Matt? Can you can you whip up a thumbnail from that? Uh, if you can uh, screen, screenshot it for me. Yeah, Brian saying, indeed, we shall be going to all the spotting locations while in Sydney as long as the weather gods are in our favour. We shall be sweet as bro. <laughs> Sweet as bro, right? Willington flies live, Kevin. Yeah. <laughs> Sweet as bro. Beware of um, microphone stealing dogs. Yeah, yeah I've heard. Good. I've heard yeah. they are. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they're bad. But the weather down there can be just as unpredictable as here. Yeah, it, it, if not worse, sometimes. Yeah. Uh, you yeah, know, that was that was us, guys, and the, the chat. That, that was the battery. That was really weird, actually. I, I don't know why I did that. The battery you were using for that um, piece of equipment just decided to die. And uh, it actually all stems back to that problem we were having last uh, two weeks ago. With the, camera doing that. the camera stutter, yeah. We, we were using a different piece of equipment to tackle it um, because it's a power issue. Um, and I've actually just switched back to the old bit of equipment and it's working, so go figure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, oh, you got to love tech. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, 10 minutes. I might head up there. Well, triple seven, yes, 10 minutes out. 10 minutes for the uh, Qatari triple. Yep. Oh, even less than that, we got... Qantas 126 coming in from Auckland. I was about to say, where's Qantas 126? A330, another, 200. Another 330. Another button shame. Um, Mitchell Cobb's going to put himself into the lounge. Good on you, Mitchell. Welcome, mate. Thank you so much for your support. Uh, you'll get access to the, uh, to the membership perks straight away there, mate. Uh, let's go have a look at the loop, actually. Let's go see if we can see Mr. Craig Murray. Where is he? Are you, uh, are you down on the concrete the concrete pad? Are you, are you on a ladder? <laughs> I feel like Craig would have a ladder. Give us a wave. Okay, Craig, we're waving. I'm <laughs> waving. <laughs> He'll be behind the, uh, the four-wheel drive there, I reckon. Or behind the trim any part Oh, no, no, he's down on the concrete pad. I can see him waving. <laughs> oh, can you? Yeah, I mean, I can't zoom in much more, obviously, because <laughs> the, the lens we're using. But, um, yeah, I can see him. I can see him waving in the middle. <laughs> Hello, mates. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Everyone around him's like, who's this guy waving at? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, actually, um, yeah, this uh, backup solution is having them same problems. <laughs> but uh, we'll push through. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Need to fix that power issue. It's super weird. When it comes to tech, oh, some mate. things I'm good and others I just like, oh, no. I tell you what, the tech we're using here is just so weird. Sometimes it will work flawlessly and then others it will just decide to do weird stuff and it, <laughs> you can just never work it out. Uh, Matthew Burrell's here, uh, joining us from Cheshire in the UK. Hello, mates. Gino's gone and dropped in the $2 super sticker. Good on you, Gino. Uh, hope you're doing well, mate. Happy Easter. Thank you for that. John's saying, I always stress about typing fuckers. <laughs> 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 oh, I always stress about saying I, it. I do too. <laughs> <laughs> yes. There is the Qatari triple. 
Oh, sorry, uh, Qantas 126. <laughs> Go to Tari I was going to correct you. You're about to correct me. There yeah. we go. I, I oh, no, this, this camera's playing up. Oh, stop it. It's doing the stutter thingy. Oh, no. Yeah, that's not good. That is not good. What am uh, I Jennifer Moles is here. Hey, guys. First time to your channel today. I'm loving your work. I appreciate it. Uh, welcome and happy Easter. Mate, we're having this power issue. <laughs> wrong time, uh, wrong time camera, wrong time. I wonder, what, what can I do to fix this? Have, have I got a solution uh, on me today? I'm trying to think. I might, I might, you know. Let's have a look. Once this lands, I'm gonna I'm gonna put the mat cam on and I'm gonna try and fix it. Oh no! <laughs> Wrong time. There we go, Connor. Oh, you got the touch. You just got it. It's, it's not having a good time. Connor's 126 in there. You wouldn't think it was power though, would you? You'd think it was like a HDMI cable or something, but it's not. Okay. Oh, Wendy KLM fans here. Welcome back. Chiming in from Holland. All right, Matt, you're up if you want to follow this in for a little few few seconds. Uh, I'm just going to see if I can do anything here. Oh, the rubber off them tyres today. Tell you what, I'll, uh, I'll follow this yeah, in for a few seconds. Yeah, it's strong, isn't it? Uh, yeah. see what we can do there. All right, let me have a look. Pretty sure there is Sir Cooper, a 700, coming in behind that. Oh, Perth. BA467. Patrick saying, uh, break out the hamster power supply. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a bunny here. <laughs> Get him in the wheel. Start running. Yeah. Hopping power. Just Crank hop it. up and down on the spot, you know. <laughs> uh, Kev's saying, do we hear a, a call for Matty Cam? <laughs> to the rescue. <laughs> The mat signal is lit. It is. The star of the show now, Matty. Uh, Jen's saying, who let the gremlins out? Yeah, they always uh, they always creep up on us. Always at the worst time, too. Some noises out there. Some noises. Yeah, it sounds like a frantic Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought I, I thought I was standing far enough out of his way that he wouldn't hear that. <laughs> He's just plugged in another battery. Where do you find these batteries, mate? <laughs> He's got his headset off at the minute. 186 wins, 090 degrees, 102 degrees, runway 19 left, clear land. It's just me, everyone. Trusty old Matt Cam. Alright, so that, um, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I've never had that happen before. You know that lithium-ion battery we've got, Matt? The, the, the little brick. It just, yeah. like, it just exploded. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, yeah it just, um, it just, like, smoked. 
just made the weird noise. That that was the problem. It's dead. Dead battery. That's annoying because oh. we've had that one replaced a few times now. <laughs> that is terrible. Who wears this thing like a car battery? I didn't realize how big they were. Yeah, I've just moved it away because you don't want one of them lithium ion batteries blowing up anywhere near you. No. They, no. Um, wow. Well, I watched a uh, very. Um, scary video about lithium ion batteries. Oh, there. Honestly, it scares the life out of me, lithium ion. Um, yeah, you don't want one of them uh, catching fire. Is it lithium ion or is it, is it a lithium polymer battery? No, it's lithium ion. It might not be the battery itself. It might be something else inside it. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's Qantas. Oh, no, are, are you back up, James? Uh, well, it's actually working at the moment, but hopefully it stays that way. Uh, Qantas 186 in from Queenstown there. 73. Oh, it's all happening today, isn't it, for us? Technology. Robert, Robert Gill saying, uh, boys near the uh, Ever Ready Bunny. I just read that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Here we go. Alliance, E-Jet. No, you don't see many in the in the Alliance livery these days. No, Qantas has definitely got a firm grip on them. Yeah. Heading to Adelaide. And from what I understand, they're not changing. They'll, they'll keep them in that livery, in the Qantas Link livery, until they're ready to get rid of them. Yeah, right. I understand. Yeah. 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 So it is a long-term thing. Yeah. It's a long, long-term thing. Well, see, Alliance used to do code share and wet leasing in the past because I flew on Qantas flights in and out of Emerald that were Alliance operated. Yeah. And um, yeah, and that that was before Virgin went into agreement with them doing the same thing. Yeah, right. So this isn't the first time around with Qantas. All right, we're, we're, we've got the Qatari triple coming in next. <laughs> uh, pray to the camera gods that this stays working. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there it uh, is. Robert Tester Harry's here. G'day, mate. Oh, how good does that look in the sun? That's in the, awesome. the last, well, it's not oh, the last wow. light, but it, it's, yeah, that looks awesome. Wow. And back into the shade. <laughs> it's like a perfect spotlight right on the threshold. Yeah, there, you know? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Follow that? Can you follow the Qatari yeah. triple for us? Just wait for it to come to here. There we go, Matt Cam live now. <laughs> uh, Jennifer Moles, hey guys, first time on the channel today. Loving your work. Good on you, Jennifer. Thank you for tuning in. coming in yeah, for, from uh, three, three hours and 45 minutes flight time, right. Wind 112 degrees, eight knots, runway 19 left speed to land. Patrick, break out the hamster power supply. Mate, that probably worked better right now. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Ashley reckons we need a Tesla as a battery bank. You know what? That would be incredible. Oh, imagine that. Um, just an AC power socket on it would be great. AC uh, inverter. You know, there's a few live streamers in Brisbane now. Yeah. Um, let's all petition to get a PowerPoint put in just there on the wall. <laughs> yeah. Oh, mate, it's funny you should say that. There's a bit of a story. I'm not sure if I'm allowed to say it. You're probably not. <laughs> Oh, good. Cool. About the PowerPoint. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I'm sure it's all right. Um, mate, there was actually one put in, um, <laughs> but uh, in the wrong place. Oh, okay. Yeah, believe it or not. It's over this corner. <laughs> oh, serious? Yeah. Oh, well. So this had got the internet and the other end got the power. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Oh, gotta love it. Big 258, vacating up to 7, uh, taxi through to Bravo and uh, domestic frequency on 121.7. Through to Bravo, yeah. Uh, I've uh, got Christopher time. Hooper's here, g'day mates. We were following in Rex 258 there, I had the uh, Qatari data tag up, but uh, there it is. Uh, Rex 258 from Melbourne. And there is the Qatari triple on the Mac cam. Oh, Brad, 1,000 flight level dropping in the 10. <laughs> Good on you, mate. Uh, only planes network battery fund. <laughs> uh, you know what? This battery that, that just died um, has already been back once. It's already been replaced once, literally only two or three weeks ago. Yeah, um, it's, it's literally a brand spanker. Yeah, so I reckon I reckon this going back for a full refund this time. Uh-huh. Uh, I don't I don't know how I feel about a battery smoking away and then getting another one. Thank you so much, Brad. Tell you what, Qatar's really in no rush. Uh, they're going very slow, yeah. aren't they? It's just me. Yeah. Like early? No, they're not early. No, well, 5.30, I think it's scheduled. They're waiting for a bay. We'll be waiting for a bay this time. No, no, it'd be nice and empty down there. Yeah. Oh, that golf stream, I just missed it, haven't I? Let's, uh, let's have a look. Oh, wrong button. There we go. Uh, well, yeah, three, three hours, 45 minutes flight time for this Gulf Stream. In from uh, yep. Jayapura. <laughs> Don't know where that is. That's, that's, that's as good as I got. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Kev, uh, what is the model and type of battery? It's a Matson from, um, it's a lithium iron Matson. It's like a 300 uh, watt hour, 280 watt hour battery. Um, from, uh, from Super Cheap Auto. Uh, so yeah, don't buy <laughs> that, that one. Problem. <laughs> don't buy a Matson battery. Um, I'm pretty sure it's discontinued now, isn't it? It is, yeah. <laughs> we, 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 struggled, we struggled to get a replacement uh, last time it broke. Might have to, um, <laughs> might have to buy a better quality one. Uh, next time. I mean, look, we don't normally need it. It's just um, it was a it's a bit of a backup for us. The backup has died. Believe it or not, <laughs> always the way. Uh, Carolyn saying it's from e Indonesia. Uh, Jayapura. I was sort of 
think that's what we was Indonesian. It, I mean, it sounds, um, yeah, it does sound Indonesian. An A321 Neo coming in. Uh, Jetstar and New Zealand. Yeah, New Zealand. From uh, Auckland next. Yeah. This is a nice looking jet. I think this would um, be worthy of the uh, OPN corporate job, corporate jet status. What do you reckon? Yeah. I think it's, um, yeah. I mean, you can't beat the global, but I'd still happily take one of these. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that got handed to you. you, you I'm not, I'd say yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not picky. I'll take any jet. <laughs> Uh, I, you, you wouldn't want one of them little citations. They don't get any. They won't get very far. It's the problem. You know that one we saw earlier. Yeah. The little citation. They haven't got very range. Oh, Pete's returned to us. Welcome back, Pete. <laughs> uh, New Zealand 147 coming in here from Auckland. The 321 Neo. Uh, John reckons uh, good batteries at JCAR. I'm, I'm going to have to do some more research. The thing is, right, is that we shouldn't need it, um, but because we, we, we have like a, a nice, nice big one already. But um, New Zealand 147, the ground 122, Yeah, tech issues. So we like to have a backup. Got a 1966 wind, 100 degrees, eight knots from my 19 left speed to <laughs> Brian, flog it off now, cash converters. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Never smoked. Never smoked. <laughs> Old lady owner. <laughs> oh, stop it. Uh, Brad, uh, Victor Hotel, Oscar Papa, November. Love it. <laughs> VHOPN. What a reg. Is that available? Can we, can we reserve that for the OPN corporate jet? Uh, Keith Graham, uh, pronounced uh, Gia, Gia Pura, as in West. West Pub. No, West Pub. What? Right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I mean, <laughs> that makes sense. it's very hard to talk about pronunciations in the chat, isn't it? Yeah. Very hard. <laughs> you can't. No, you'll probably take half an hour to try and teach me how to pronounce it, right? <laughs> well, well, well. How the turns have tabled. <laughs> how the turns have tabled. <laughs> <laughs> oh, stop it. Here we go. There's another another Alliance E-Jet in the Alliance livery. Coming in from Newcastle. Operating Connus 1966. I don't even want to put that battery in my car. <laughs> don't blame you, actually. <laughs> I really don't. Yeah. Keep, just keep the window down. And I'll hold it out the window. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And if it starts to spark, just drop yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, once they go, it's okay. You're better off just, you know, letting it burn, and then, uh, then you're good. You just don't want it in the car with you when you're driving yeah, back home. Yeah. No. 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 Put, that could turn <laughs> there's, a, there's a video I saw the other day, and it, it, it was shocking what I was seeing, what that battery was doing, and it was just off a scooter. It was just a scooter battery. Yeah, yeah. And... My goodness, that, I've never seen anything like that. Yeah. It's scary, isn't it? Like, have you seen the All my uh, RC, RC helis, they're, uh, they're LiPo, um, and a lot of them are, are quite a high voltage too. And it, so if one of those pierce or overcharge, it's quite a spectacular a LiPo really. LiPo's wow. safer than lithium-ion though, isn't it? A little bit. Uh, I don't believe so. Oh, okay. LiPo's very volatile. I shouldn't say very volatile, but... 
But um, yeah, I mean, you see some of the old Teslas when they used to use the lithium ion um, batteries and wow, mm. <laughs> the way they go up in flames. Wow, yeah. It was a fireworks display right in front of you. Know. Can't beat a good old lead acid battery, I reckon, for um, or deep cycle. But they're just so heavy. Yeah. <laughs> so heavy. Yeah. Inefficient. Very inefficient. Not very good long term, but. No. That's the thing. Lithium has, very, you know, very high current as well. Uh, Qantas 534 in there on uh, 19 left and from Sydney. Oh, lights off. The lights have just turned on here in the car park. Must be getting dark. <laughs> and uh, John Vogel <laughs> has gone and dropped in another five gifted memberships, mate. <laughs> How many is that today? Is that is that 25? I think I think John's dropped in 25 gifted memberships today, mate. That is uh, that is quite something. That's uh, very very generous. Brendan, Plain Kitty, uh, Fred, Chucky, and Ben all getting memberships there, courtesy of John. Uh, thank you, mate. Thank you so much, and uh, welcome to the to the five new members. One thousand flight level. Brad says that BHOPN is available. Oh, it is. Yeah. How do we uh, reserve that? Is there is there how, such a thing? How do we get it? <laughs> how much does it cost to register a, 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 an aircraft rego for a year? <laughs> There's a question. I'll put it on one of my RC planes. Virgin 970 rolling. 73 heading to Sydney. Uh, so the issue seems to have fixed itself. Uh, touch wood. It's really hard. Oh, don't say that. Really, really odd. <laughs> Um, it's been fine for the last 10 that. or 15 minutes, so I feel confident now to say it. <laughs> um, yeah, let's hope it stays that way for the next uh, hour or so. Thank you so much again, John. Very, very kind of you to drop so many uh, gifted gifteds in today. Oh, you've been a machine today, mate. Uh, Christopher Hooper, has anyone been on a Qantas 7879 from coming from Sydney to Hawaii? It's just been changed on me. I've never been on a Qantas 789er. I've been on plenty of 789ers though so, uh, on other airlines. Yeah, I don't expect Virgin to be going back into white bodies anytime soon. No, that's an interesting one, isn't it? Yeah. It's, uh, but at the same time, I mean, but then you look at what's happening with the market now as well, is that the, the narrow bodies are becoming so capable, mm -hmm. especially the 321 long range. Yes. And the A220, considering the size of it, the size of it, can go so far. But it can do Perth, can't it? Yeah. Yeah. And beyond. Beyond. It can go further than Perth. Like the, just amazing. Yeah. And massive engines on it too. Yep. For the size of the fuselage. Yep. And it's the biggest it's the biggest windows of any commercial aircraft. Which was that surprised me. Here we go, Virgin 337 touching down on uh, zero 01 left here. From uh, sorry, one nine left. Zero <laughs> one still on zero ones in my head. Uh, one nine left from Melbourne. Carolyn's saying, uh, Sid Squad are doing a curfew tonight, perhaps a raid. Uh, we might have to join them later. I reckon that's a shout. Yeah.
wonder if he's actually been watching today. Kurt pops in and out. I do see him in the chat periodically. Yeah, from time to time. Yeah. Or Tim. Tim pops in and out too. But he, Tim tells you it's him. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Matt, have you got uh, any better, know, better, better shots? <laughs> what's, what's this? We've been static for a while. It's a sunset. Yeah. It's a sunset. <laughs> It's looking great over here on the dashing house. Yeah, it is actually. Uh, there's plenty of arrivals lined up. It's, it's, oh, yeah. It gets really busy at this time, doesn't it? Let's there's, what do we got? One, one and two, eight. three, four. Four on finals, well, three on finals, one turning on to finals, play it over the over Morton Islands. Uh, Bob Brown, uh, yeah, li uh, LifePo, LifePo 4 is the one to get, isn't it, uh, these days, battery-wise? Yeah. Much more stable. Hmm. We need to have a charter flight coming in from Singapore, Virgin Australia. I've never seen that before. Really? Hmm. Coming in now. It is What's the... currently flying over the water. What's the wrench? It's not one of the Maxes, is it? No, it's not. Uh, yeah. The HBUH. I don't know where this has come from. Like, from Abu Dhabi to Singapore. Is it? Yesterday. How long was it there? It was in... Uh, I was here on the 30th, then it flew... It was in Brisbane for 25 days. Yeah. That's incredible. Has, has it gone there for maintenance of some sort? Yeah, that they couldn't get done here or something? Yeah, it would have to do it. Because, yeah, they yeah. didn't have some nice flight route to anything. No. Abu Dhabi. What happens in Abu Dhabi? Is it paint? What happens in oh, Abu yeah. Dhabi? They do paint in Abu Dhabi. Yeah. They also... No, they wouldn't be doing any of the winglets there. No, you're not going to fly all the way to Abu just Dhabi for some winglets. Just some winglets, yeah. But it was on the ground in Brisbane for 25 days. That's yeah. odd. From the 5th of March to the 30th of March, it did not operate one sector. Oh, there we go. The blinds are up. The blinds are up on the control tower. We can we can see in clearly. Um, as to what's going on. I think they're looking at you, Matt. You could easily wave to them. I bet you they'd wave back. <laughs> oh, I can see the guy on the right using the binoculars there. <laughs> see if you can get a wave. Uh, you don't want to distract him. Stand <laughs> off. No, I don't. I don't. No, you don't, want, you don't want to distract him. I'll, I'll let them make the first move. Who we got coming in? Uh, Craig Murray, it's full on going off at here at the Sabo. He's still down at the loop, mate. It's busy, isn't it? It's just arrival after arrival on the 19 left. Yeah, say 321 Neo coming in from Mel. Yeah. Jet stop. Perfect, perfect time to be down at the loop, I reckon. Jet Star 570. And that new livery. All right, Jetstar, uh, 8.23, off to Sydney, the, uh, the 320.
Ooh, 18, 20, 15 minutes. Oh, of course, I forgot about that. Mm. We're going to see uh, X Ray 4 Bravo this afternoon. We are. Uh, 100% random content up here with you guys. Is that one of these guys over here? Must be those ones Must be one of these us. guys over, over here. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm a bit behind in the chat. You probably sent that a while ago. Probably. We're getting a few greens. <laughs> <laughs> Brad, 1,000 flight level. The fee for registering an aircraft is $130, plus a new rego fee of $3,000 if the aircraft has a maximum takeoff weight of no more than 780 kilograms. Well, that's a pretty light aircraft. That's a kit plane. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, what, so what you're telling me is I should buy a little kit plane and um, a little uh, ultralight or something. That way you can, you can secure... <laughs> secure the OPN uh, rego. Can I then transfer um, that around? RC heli or plane. So I've got to spend three, just over three. I don't know if you can do that, but. I'm pretty sure it'd probably have to be an active aircraft. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Qantas 545. I'll give it a crack. <laughs> heading to Sydney. these guys. Oh, it is, it is, is it? Yeah, I thought it was. <laughs> Hang on, I'm just doing a pan. Wind 100 degrees, knots, that was an awful pan. <laughs> uh, Christopher Hooper, any train cam, Matt? Uh, Matt? Chris wants a, uh, he wants a train cam. It's been a while. There it is. It's parked up. Uh, no, no moving trains. Oh, oh no, there's a bus. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Kev reckons I've been too cranky about your your artistic shots of the lingering sunsets. One point off. Ah, <laughs> oh, yeah. Sorry, mate. Kev, Kev feels my pain. Uh, Carolyn reckons uh, Sid's got her on at 7 p.m. Brizzy time. Can we make it through to 7 p.m.? Oh, with movements at the terminal here, yeah, yeah we'll with the light, for sure. Because you guys, it's you can see quite well yeah? under the lights with your camera. With this camera? Yeah. Like this, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, we have to change the lens and stuff. Yeah. But like without going night mode, you still see quite a lot. You'd be surprised. Mm. Um, Oh, we'll see how we go, eh? That's why when you when you are saying, oh, we don't know what we can see, all we can see is this. And yep. we're actually we're seeing quite a lot. I mean, you know that. why we say that? It's because we're looking at it on this tiny little screen. Yeah. yeah. Um, and it is quite dark, isn't it? Yeah. And when I was here last time, last month, um, and it did, it got dark. It got dark real quick after, like, 10 minutes. It was, like, duskish, and then that was it. It was gone. Yeah. And looking out over the airfield, couldn't all I could see was tails. And flashing oh, light. right. Yeah, um, okay. But when you look at the at your screen here and on our phones, yeah, stuff, you just can't. You can clearly see it, but yep. yeah, just naked eye. There's um, there's Matt's artistic sunset shot. <laughs> <laughs> that actually is quite. There you go. Nice. One point back. <laughs> I better, yeah, I better show that. That is quite nice. Uh, is Patrick heading off? Are you heading off, mate? Is he in bed? Uh, good night, mate. Uh, uh, thank you so much for your support today. Oh, he is, I think. Uh, he's saying it's nearly half past midnight there. Oh. Um, Western. Is that Western time? I forget what side of the states he's Yeah, on. I don't know all the US time zones. I'm yeah. terrible with that. Have you ever actually had a look at the map of time zones? I have, yes. It's incredible. And it zigzags all over the place. Yeah. You can see why people get mixed up. Awesome. I love seeing them stacking up, one behind each other. Yeah. One day we'll be busy enough here in Brisbane, there'll be like 10. 
<laughs> yeah. Like, like at Heathrow. Yeah. You see it in the pictures at Heathrow. Oh, I know, right? <laughs> There's some awesome shots sometimes. Gosh, you, you wonder how they can keep up the plane spotters there, but he parks himself in just one spot and just goes whoop, backwards and forwards with the camera. And that'd be because he's quite close. There'd be some quick pans, really quick. Yeah, he is really close there. He's yeah. in a car park adjacent to one of the runways. Yeah, he just yeah. Picks one. He um he does the paddock as well, doesn't he? Yes, um, at the far end. Yeah, <laughs> and he gets those um. I, 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 I do think it's funny when the the cows come and bump his van. I think that's <laughs> <laughs> I think that's hilarious. I think he. Oh wow! Well, did we just have a go around? Oh, stop it. Did we? Was what that was the 220? In Briar? No, it was a no, departure, no, mate. It was a departure. <laughs> That's what happens when I look here yeah. and not look properly. It looked like a 220 for a sec. Uh, Carolyn, that loud whistling noise is back. Hopefully gone now. Oh, and you it's know, the fogger, it's, it's it? the ghost in Briar. Yeah, oh. yes. That happened the other day. This, hap this happened at the same time on Friday, yeah. And yeah. it's the ghost in Briar. So it's got a noisy Does APU. It? Yeah. Um, James Morton Bay modelling uh, for the Jetstar 329 Neo and James's favourite scheme. <laughs> He's dropped in the three dollars and twenty one cents uh, super chat. Thank you, mate. Very kind. <laughs> uh, I do. I do love the uh, the Jetstar, the new Jetstar livery. Uh, it's sort of making me warm up a little bit to Jetstar again, but I'm yeah. not going to say any more than that. No, look. After flying on them <laughs> um, last week. <laughs> There's nothing to write home about, that's for sure. I'm, I'm not ready to let down my guard just yet with Jetstar. Yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> the wall's still up. Oh, yes. And it's a firm one. <laughs> uh, we, we do bash Jetstar a lot here, don't we? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everywhere you go in the country, I think they're bashing Jetstar. Sharon, <laughs> Sharon wants a sneaky Macca's drive through. Oh. It's probably going to be after the stream, to be honest, today. Um, I am starving. I haven't eaten today, um, other than a few mint slices, but um, I'm trying to do a bit of a fast from time to time. <laughs> I do that. Yeah. I pick two days a week where yeah. I just have breakfast. And, and that's yeah, just it. one meal of the day, yeah. yeah. And it's actually paying off, so. Yeah. Longest, uh, longest fast I've ever done was four days. Oh, wow. There we go. Uh, yeah. Virgin 9948 touching down. This is the one that's coming from Singapore, mate. Um, I'm okay. intrigued. So it's actually come from all the way from Abu Dhabi, but via Singapore. I'm very intrigued. Like, I'm going to have to go and do um, net and do some digging. Yeah. To figure out why that went there. Not sure uh, why this would have been in Abu Dhabi. If anyone knows, yeah, drop it in the chat. Because I'm intrigued. What's in, what's in Abu Dhabi? I know there is paint. They do a lot of paint in Abu Dhabi, don't they? That's actually, I think it's one of the biggest jet paint bases in the, in the world, that one there. Right. Yeah. Like, there is one, there's one here in Queensland. Um, Townsville. Has Townsville, a paint that's right. Has a paint yeah. yeah. They did a lot of the Fockers from Network Aviation that became um, a part of... Qantas Link fleet in Western Australia. Yep, a yep. lot of those Fockers were painted in town. So. All right, here we go. Qantas uh, 939 uh, departing year. One nine left off to Perth. And as we as we follow this one out, I guess we can follow the air train as well. <laughs> Simultaneous departure. <laughs> Heading down to the Gold Coast, I imagine. <laughs> Via the Tennyson Loop. Uh, another Fokker coming in next, I think. It is. From Mackay. I'm glad the camera issue didn't come back. That's... Uh, <laughs> See, that's because I was touching the wood yeah, constantly every time you were saying it. It's, um, <laughs> I, I hate to say it, but, um, yeah, we're, we're good. 
There's the tiniest bit of rainbow just there above that light pole. That's right, yeah. There's, there, there is a potentially a bit of a shower about to go over us. It does look like it's to the south there. Mm -hmm. Uh, the Alliance, Fokker 100, touching down. Operating Virgin 616 from Mackay. Before I forget, if you haven't already hit the like button, please, please do. Uh, we're at 518 now. Um, wow. But, um, yeah, so that's, uh, that's fantastic. But um, So thank you to all 518 people that have. Uh, but if you haven't already, please, please do like that button. Helps us so much. Well, with the old uh, YouTube algorithm. Uh, Todd Palmer's here. Welcome back, mate. Happy Easter. Oh, whoop. Ado as well. Uh, Ado saying Air Callum 330 Neo uh, about half an hour out. Oh, yeah. The 330 Neo. So that's going to be about 10, 15 minutes. Oh, probably about 15, 20 minutes even uh, past sunset. So... Okay, we must be behind. <laughs> We should, um... oh, right, so it's not that far, is it? Where is it? Find it. There it is. Yeah, it's 16 now. Maxwell's saying X4 Bravo's uh, about to turn final. Okay, so the X4 Bravo being the, uh, the second Qantas Link 220, the first in the traditional red livery. Uh, Todd Palmer's here. Hello, mate. Happy Easter to you. Uh, Sharon wants a close-up of the Emirates map. Oh, yeah. Sure we can do that. We're about 10 minutes from sunset now. Uh, 5.47 is sunset local time here at Brisbane. Oh, there's that whistle. It's back. Oh, I'll tell you, when that was on the stream the other day, yeah. I had to turn the television right down. Yeah, is it that bad? Yeah, because it was actually, I could actually feel it in yeah, my ear. Yeah, it's like a bit of weird <laughs> resonation, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, whatever you just did, mate, it came back, so I'm, I'm not sure what you did. Wow, that bloody crow was huge. Did you see that? <laughs> wow. Bro. <laughs> yeah, it was massive. It scared the crap out of me. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, one each. <laughs> we got, uh, yeah, arrivals coming in on each runway. Oh, David loves the shots that uh, include the traffic and the trains. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just, it, it's nice. It's nice to see a bit more than just what's happening on, on the air side, isn't it? Um, you know, we're, in, we're, we're, we're pretty much smack bang in the middle of the airfield, aren't we? Or um, well, very close to it. Pretty close here, yeah. We're, we're a kilometre from each runway. Just imagine how different it looks, it'll look when Terminal 3 is built just here. Yeah. Um, now, is that going to be good for us or bad for us? I reckon all the aircraft are going to be on the other side of it. Yes, they will be. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> which, uh, yeah, hopefully we get a, a nice multi-storey car park on that side. Yes. Hopefully. Yeah. Keep that crossed, I'll tell <laughs> you. Fingers crossed. Yeah. <laughs> That's um, when's that due? Is that what ten years? It's got to be ten years. It, yeah, there, there was talk that it'd be done by 2032, but they haven't no. started anything no, yet. It's so not, it's not gonna that's happen. not going to happen. Here is the uh, Qantas Link Airbus A220 coming in on uh, one nine left. Qantas Link 1260 from Melbourne. I bet Craig Murray's down there getting a good shot of this. From the loop. Oh, it'd still be down there, wouldn't it? And oh, I, Jen and Kev like my uh, my sunset shots. <laughs> I will say they are quite nice. And I, I have no doubt uh, that uh, Craig will be hanging around for the Air Callum 330 Neo as well. There's quite a few of the fans are down have been down there when I've been down there. Right. Yeah. <laughs> it's only because we're talking in the Discord. Oh yeah, true. Yeah, and then I'm like, hey. Yep. And you look up and then yep. you go. <laughs> Yeah, you, you don't always realise, do you? No. And it's really hard sometimes when we're up here and you know, obviously um, we're talking and 
Yep. You don't know who's standing behind you. <laughs> <laughs> I am really looking forward to flying on these A220s. Yeah, I reckon it'll be quite uh, quite nice. Been watching a few reviews on YouTube, at least at Facebook, um, and it's all it's just been economy views so far. It ha reviews. It hasn't been any um, oh, okay, yeah. business class ones at the pointy end, but. The, the it's definitely quieter. That's one thing everyone's noticing. Yeah, much quieter. All these high bi bypass um, engines, they they are though, aren't they? Mm. So. And they just say overall smoother ride, like smoother trip. It's, yeah. There's, even though you can feel that there's turbulence, it's not as severe through the fuselage. And yeah, so I'm really looking forward to it. You know what's funny though is these are about ten years old now. Yes. But, it, uh, but, the, but ever since the rebranding, it feels like it's, it's a new again. aircraft. It's a new aircraft again. Because the first time I ever saw them was on a um, sort of like a documentary, YouTube documentary with Air Baltic. Yeah. And they were still the Bombardier C-Series. Mm -hmm. And uh, in my eyes, it's still a C-Series. <laughs> it, it'll always be. It even still says it's on the radar. Yeah. <laughs> it says it in the, oh, right. Yeah, okay. It still says it as a, the... Um, here, I'll show you. Oh, I, I know what you mean. Yeah, on, the, um, you know, the letters. And the the three-letter three code, yeah. Yeah, they still have C, S, whatever. Yeah. One or three. Uh, Ashley's got the bangers on the barbecue now. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Prior to, uh, prior to the curfew later on. <laughs> that's, that's my next thing. Be, well, on, be down there when he's doing a stream. Oh, yeah. Him and I have had a few backwards and forwards it's on the streams. <laughs> oh, live on camera. Yeah. The 220's here. Uh, ex Did you miss it, mate? You didn't get a shot. <laughs> You'll have to go through the replay. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, it, was, it was a decent shot on the, on the arrival there. Mm. No, it's, it's, but it's true what Pete's saying. They, they, they haven't been coming up on the weekend. They've only been doing Monday to Friday. Monday to Friday. And now all of a sudden, hello, it's here on Yeah, Sunday. right, yeah. Uh, here we go. Joel saying, uh, found this article. Etihad Engineering wins uh, Virgin Australia 737 heavy maintenance contract. There you go. And uh, what's going on here? That's uh, a little bit odd. Oh, no, I Always. think I think that's our um, our power problem again. I think that's what that is. Oh, <laughs> mate, that's how you drop starting. <laughs> oh, the uni den, the design. Yeah. Oh, mate, what is going on? As soon as it pops up here, usually. <laughs> oh. The power. We're slowly coming back, people, I'm pretty sure. I think we are, mate. I think we are. But wow, what, what on earth? <laughs> oh, I've got a, bit of a, got a bit of latency here. I've got to put that back there. Give that to Matt. Mate, it's a, it's a power issue of some sort. Like, something wrong. Yeah, trust me, I know. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, I think we're back though. It's um, you know what? It's a really odd issue. It's a really, really odd issue. He yeah, actually, you, you you were talking to. Him. Oh no. Yeah, no, you were talking to him. Alan C popped up in the chat the other day. Ah, oh, okay. That's Dad. Right. That's my dad. Oh, yeah. hello, Alan. Yeah. <laughs> He was sitting in the sitting in his room and watching watching on and having a drink of beer. Yeah, right. Yeah. Oh, good stuff. Yeah. Sorry about that little drop out, guys. It's uh, yeah, one of our we're, our <laughs> we've been having this weird issue with power on our, on our setup. It's quite it's quite a complicated setup, and um, we switched to the backup, 
and the backup decided to die on us today. It's, it's a lithium-ion battery, <laughs> which, uh, which just went pop. Started smoking, so we've had to ditch that. It's, uh, it's sitting a couple of meters from us on the concrete. <laughs> And uh, we're back to the original setup, and I've tried to sort of jerry-rig it together. And it uh, looks like it's working again now. Uh, hopefully we can uh, carry on. Matt's uh, spying on someone down there in the hotel. <laughs> is that the hotel lobby? It is. Oh, I was, uh, yeah, I saw a bar. There's a bar down there. Yeah. Oh, very it's nice. Yeah, so as we were saying, Joel saying that the uh, Etihad have won the heavy maintenance contract for Virgin Australia on the 737s. So that would explain that, it. That does perfectly too because um, of the flight number as well. Yeah. It's, it's just a, it's it a was a ferry flight. flight. Now, yeah. that is really interesting, doing yeah. heavy maintenance all, all the way, the way over there on all, all the seven, and there's a lot of 737s as well. Yep. <laughs> That's crazy. So, um, wow. Wouldn't you want to be the flight crew on that? When you get to go on just you know I'm going on a holiday for a week. Well, <laughs> yeah, I think they I don't think they like it as much as you think though. <laughs> I I could have well, we mate down here that's yeah. a flight a flight attendant. He he he'd be pre prefer to be at home in his bed. Oh every yeah, night. yeah, I think so. <laughs> like my, I, I saw my dad about it the other day because he, he's doing long haul now. He he spends a couple of days in America at the time. Yeah, and he yeah he doesn't he doesn't enjoy it. He would rather be at home. Been do, that way do all four the time. Yeah, do four um short sectors yeah. in a day and going back home at night. Yep. <laughs> um, yep. Well, here's another plot for Bonza. That's what they promised for their flight crew. But they're at home every night. Right, okay. And that goes for cabin crew as well. Yep. So, um... Because I'm applying for a job. <laughs> with ah, I see. <laughs> so that's one of the perks of the job. Yep. It's, <laughs> you always yep. get to be at home. And you, it's, it's, it's all... No hotels. City or coastal yep. living. In, because that's they're all based in the capitals or on the coast. Yes. So, uh, there's no regional staying overnight. Right. There's no region. There, there's no bonds of block, um, aircraft based in Toowoomba. They all fly in. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. A bit of. Uh... <laughs> Looks like I'm spending the beginning of the week uh, doing some troubleshooting. Hey, eh? working out <laughs> what. Uh... Fixy, what the fixy. problem is, uh, it's a weird, it's a really weird thing. Uh, it's quite complicated, so I've got to go through everything. Uh, mate, what do you got on final? We got Air Callan on final. We do. Okay. Is it coming in on right? <laughs> no, it's left. Air Callan coming in on left. It's the right, next arrival. The number one to arrive. The, uh, I always, I was going to say 350. The 330 Neo, the 330 900 from Namia. And uh, there it is. Coming in on one niner left. I wish I could get a shot, but I don't have a wide enough lens um, to get that shot. Oh, you can see one of the lights there in the background coming through the clouds, the landing lights. And um, quick shot of uh, Matt's. Matt's got the uh, all-white Embraer, Alliance Embraer, pushing back there. The noisy one, the one with the noisy APU. <laughs> yeah. I think we've completely lost the chat. <laughs> uh, yeah, better catch up. Uh, Dashcam fanatics loving the entertainment today, boys. Love seeing the favourite aircraft, the Q400. Don't, don't do anything on the camera. <laughs> Not now.
Do you feel a few drops of rain, or is that just me? No, that one just hit me neck. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, mate. I told you it was coming. Oh, I'm going to touch more wood here. Oh, how good does this? <laughs> how good does this look? <laughs> awesome. What a what an incredible aircraft. Livery just makes it pop. Oh, yeah. yeah. And on the 330 Neo too. Look at that. Camera does a better shot of showing it than uh, <laughs> the naked eye, actually. I know, Rod. Because I'm looking out. Yeah. And all I can really see is the red. And then I look at it on the screen, that's just awesome. Yeah. Uh, Brian DeBert Golf's here. G'day, guys. Just logged in. Tazzy won the NBL Grand Final. <laughs> Sharon wants us to do the Easter dance. <laughs> Maybe Peter Peter Rabbit <laughs> will uh, we'll do some dancing later on. <laughs> it ain't going to be me. Oh. You know, actually. Jimmy will do it. Jimmy will do it. There's been a lot of chatter on Pompas and Mark who would, who would, out of point two, who would dance. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, it won't be me. <laughs> and everyone keeps landing on Matty. Yeah, it's, it's going to be Matt uh, before me, that's for sure. Mate, look, after a couple of drinks, I'll bust out a Melbourne shuffle. Oh, you'll cut a rug after a few, would you? <laughs> I'll, I'll cut a rug, mate. <laughs> Uh, Christian Kemp, is Matty here or is he at work? He's here, he's at the other side of the car park. He's about 250 metres from us. Uh, getting some... Yeah, uh, I'm having a chat to him on the, on the old Insta, actually. Oh, OK. Uh, B-Rad dropping in the... Uh, G'day, Christian. B-Rad's just uh, re, uh, rejoined, actually. He's been a member for a month now. Uh, good on you, B-Rad. Thank you so much for, uh, for that renewal, mate. Great to have you with us. Uh, yes, please, uh, want to get away from you. I can hear something, uh, some sort of supercar, something exotic down there, Matt. Sounds very Lamborghini-esque. I had my way. Lamborghini-esque. Yeah. Lamborghini-esque. <laughs> <laughs> Keep an eye out. I'm waiting for it, mate. There's probably stopping to pick someone up. Uh, Christian, you can hear. So we've got Terry here today. Terry's on the, uh, Terry's on Matt's normal mic, and Matt's uh, out with the with the Mac cam on his uh, well yeah on the Mac cam mic on those cool fancy little mics actually <laughs> yeah the little uh, yeah the little uh, lavalier thing <laughs> Brad we have a Brisbane we have a problem yeah well we're we're good at the moment and you know what I shouldn't have said anything should I earlier no that was the problem John Vogel's just pick it off and have some din dins. Uh, John's heading off. Yeah, oh, good on you, John. Thank you for um, thank you for your incredible support today. And, um, we'll we'll talk to you soon, mate. And there's a Max Eight. That is a Max Eight, isn't it? Yeah, it's a positive. <laughs> no, no, the last time I was positive, I was wrong. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Virgin One Seventy Eight in there. It is a Max Eight. <laughs> um, <laughs> Got to um, just change. Oh, what's We're having some weird old problems. <laughs> I keep I keep losing you. Yeah, yeah, we're having some some odd issues, mate. Odd. Uh 
hopefully that fixes that. It's all power. It's all power related. Why does it have to be so difficult? <laughs> There's the uh, there's the all whites alliance in Brea. I think it was a Lambo, mate. It looks like an RS3. Oh, well, they sound very similar, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> they do. <laughs> I'm lost when it comes to certain things about high-end cars. Oh, I just, um, I have a bit of a... I, I can pick them by the sound. Yep. I like that with the aircraft engines. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Qantas 540 touching down from Sydney there. 73. Uh, Christopher Hooper. Has Barb been in today? I haven't seen her for a while. Yeah, she was here um, earlier on. It would be very late over there. She's probably sleeping. Yeah. Um, it must be very early hours of the morning over there. She was definitely there here at the start of the street. Yeah, yeah she was. She dropped in uh, 10 gifted memberships, actually. T40. Uh, Sue Cousins here. Hello, Sue. Yes, the uh, the old gremlins are out in force today. I'm going to have to do something about it. Oh, I agree, Sharon. It is caffeine time. <laughs> oh, there's there he is, Alan C. In the chat. <laughs> I haven't found him yet. <laughs> You're doing a top job, fellas. Coffee only today. Coffee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, that's it. Yeah, I've only had coffee and um, and, and a couple of mint mint, uh, mint slices, or whatever you call them. Is that, is that what they are, mint slices? Mint. Um, yeah, the biscuit. Yeah. Yeah. Mint biscuit. Mint slices slice. doesn't sound right. Oh. I oh, know it's a slice. They say slice. Now, what I understand is slices either in a square or a rectangle. Yeah. Square. They're round. I don't know how a biscuit can be a slice, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a great debate. Uh, Cheryl Coulson, hello from Sunbury, Melbourne. Blessed Easter to all and safe, uh, safe flights. Thank, thank you very, thank you, Cheryl. Uh, same back to you. Happy Easter. I hope you had a great weekend. Remains made it just in time to catch that 330 Neo before the Air Callum. Oh, awesome, mate. That was beautiful. That was absolutely beautiful. It looked awesome. It, even in that light, you know, yeah. the last light. I'm glad it made it in early. Yeah. Uh, Robert Gill's heading off. No worries, mates. Ah, oh, Pete's back. Uh, plane spotting with Pompers and Mark down there in Adelaide. Hello, mates. Finished work? <laughs> I said that. Oh, right. <laughs> Five minutes ago. Oh, did you? I'm, uh, I'm, I, am, I am well and truly yeah. behind, don't I? I'm just trying to catch up now while we're on the Mac cam. Oh, yay. 
I'm always seeing a 700. 700, but... <laughs> I was... When I do the... Woo <laughs> there it is, yeah. There it is. <laughs> I tell you what, you're right about the camera. It's still... I mean, it looks pretty dark out there, doesn't it? But it, the camera's not doing a terrible job. Yeah, look how bright that is compared yeah. to that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And then you got the then you got the Mac cam, which is is a lot darker. Yeah. Um, but still, that's pretty good though. Here we go. We got the Rex 73 rolling here. One nine left. This is Rex 281. To Melbourne? Melbourne. Velocity 455, take it to line up, runway 100 right. Line up, runway 100 right. Oh, I'm being spoiled now. What's that? 700 just landed on right. <laughs> oh, it's departing. Is that departing? Oh, <laughs> unless it's, unless yeah, it's a go chance. around. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, watch Terry, pay attention. <laughs> you failed ACT training, Terry. Oh. <laughs> oh dear. It's been a long day. <laughs> oh, it has. Oh, there you go, Matt's, Matt's got a shot of it. Over oh, there. Oh, thanks, Matty. Wow, oh, it's dark over there, isn't it? Yep. I better catch this Virgin arrival. Virgin 341. In from Melbourne. Oh, listen to that spool down. Was that a no. was that a was that a fuck up? Yeah, one that just arrived from him. Yeah. Yep. Listen to it. Love it. That's a brilliant sound. Yeah, have you got it? Have you got? Can you show us, Matt? The fucker that just spooled down. Oh, it's right there, that's why. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I had it up before. <laughs> Nose pick cam. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, they think they're safe. Oh. The times in traffic, you just turn to look to see who's beside you. Catch them every time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Virgin 346 heading to Melbourne. Virgin's letting us down. Turn your tail light on. <laughs> oh, right, yeah. Yeah. I'm sort of a little bit like Kurt with that. Yeah. I don't want to see your tail Tail light. lights and wing lights. Yeah. Turn them on. Come on, let us look at you. Uh, we are starting to get to that sort of time now where it is really dark. It's, mm -hmm. <laughs> it's amazing um, that you can see as much as we can. Mm hmm Jetstar 822 in from Sydney. For a second, I thought that was Matt having a big sigh. <laughs> but it's the train. <laughs> oh, is that what it is? Yeah. <laughs> uh, can, can you hear that? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh. oh, listen to uh, look at that uh, reflection off the jet star. It's kind of cool. Off the um, cool. off the lights there. 
See, when I fir first saw Jetstar in their silver livery, I, I thought that was absolutely amazing. Hmm. First time we ever had silver painted planes in Australia. Yeah. And, and then the light at all the airports reflects so well on Yeah, it. yeah, yeah. It's awesome. Better than the white. Yeah, white boy. <laughs> you can't be getting a little bit tired. Yeah. Well, I mean, look at these. White, you know, that, these look good under this light. Yeah. Looks like this. Um, is that just arrived? I think it's just arrived. I'm pretty sure it is. The ground power unit's been connected up before the uh, engine shuts off. Where did it come from? But there's nice lighting down there uh, above the dash eights. Works well. He just arrived from Gladstone. That one. Uh, Brian's heading off. <laughs> Running low on battery myself. We'll catch you again soon. <laughs> oh, Brian. Good on you, Brian. We'll see you soon, mate. I want to see you, Ducati. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was quite something when he brought that up here, wasn't it? Oh, it was. That was cool to watch. There we go. Knock, knock. Finding it strange that the A220 seems to just ping the whole time that it's here. I do, yes, yeah. I've noticed that. Um, yeah, what time's it actually due to depart? Not till quarter to seven. Quarter to seven. Yeah, so, uh, and it's pinging. It's pinging now. Yeah, and I'm like, mm. and it actually it pushed early uh, on Friday, a couple of minutes early. It did, yeah. See, they all come at once, don't they? They do, yeah. What's the, yeah, this is VBY, so this is number 50 of the old Virgin Blue Fleet. Right. Yeah. Uh, Virgin 973 in from Sydney. Ah, uh, Brian's off. We'll, uh, we'll talk to you soon, Brian. Did he say he's going um, to a concert? Did I, saying did I see Brian? A concert. What, is that what I read? Are you off to, if you're still there, mate, is that what you said? You're off to a con I, 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 I might have skipped on the chat. I, I feel like I saw something about a concert. <laughs> um, Beck saying, uh, if you can see Bay 16, uh, Phil's doing the push. Domestic there. Where's Bay 16? Bay 16 is just here. Maybe up near you. It's the first aero bridge on this, this satellite. Number 16. Is that the Embraer that's just pushed? Yeah. And is now yeah, will be, yeah. moving forwards. Uh, I can't, no. Oh, I can just kind of see. You can see the top of the tail. Is that is that him in there? We can just see his, his head, I think. <laughs> That'll I'm be it. I'm focused on the, <laughs> the light poles. The camera always does. Yeah. Um, let's see if I can make it focus over there. Yeah, I assume... <laughs> <laughs> Yes. <laughs> I just saw Pete said uh, Mac has run from uh, <laughs> from Adelaide. <laughs> Send it up, mate. Send it up on the next flight. Put it in the hold. Ah, oh, Beck said it, that's the driver. He's toe assist tonight. He has his head down. <laughs> Well, we've lost him now. Are they gone? That was quick. Oh, is he that? Is he that one there? There he is. Yeah, there he is. He's that must a... be. Him. Well, we got we got a wave, I guess. Even though it was it to the. Uh... Like it, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it looked like he was waving to the pilot. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll take, well, they, we'll they take they it. They hold we'll up it. the bypass pin, don't they? Yeah, that's so, it. Yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah, they do that. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> I, I changed the setting on the camera and it's performing better in the low light um, than it did last time, with, even with this lens on it. That's doing a great job. 
Because it's, I mean, it's pitch black here now, isn't it? Virt yeah. Virtually, there's a little bit of, little bit of blue still on the sky, but. Like the new runway, not a hope. Uh, yeah, we never see anything on the <laughs> on the on the new runway. Uh, legacy runway operations would be great at night if we could just stick with the legacy. Aha, uh -huh, there we go. The uh, Embraer is on the move. All oh, right, so 40th anniversary of Singapore Airlines service, servicing Brisbane today. Did you see that, Matt? That's quite something, isn't it? Uh, what's that, sorry? Apparently, it's the 40th anniversary today of Singapore Airlines servicing Brisbane. All oh, right. That's on their Facebook page, too. Yeah, that's on the, mm. um, the Brisbane Airport uh, socials. Peter's just got that up. It's so dark out there, I didn't see this coming. <laughs> Look at that. They've got no lights on for us. Yep. See, jet star. Come on. Yeah, tail light at least. Okay. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Flicker on. It's also Singapore Airlines 40th anniversary in Adelaide. So it's in Adelaide as well. According Today. To according to Pompus and Mark. Right. Yeah, started both of them routes exactly 40 years ago. That's cool. Uh -huh. Oh, David Cooper's back as well. Welcome back, mate. Still chugging along, I see guys. I'm, uh, I'm glad you're still going as I'm just showing some friends the wonders of the OPM and the <laughs> oh, I love that, mate. It's, it's very dark here now, as you can see. It's, it's, uh, the camera can see more than we can with the naked eye. Uh, thanks. Oh, I can barely see this aircraft. Uh, Henry saying, can we raid Sid Squad? Absolutely. <laughs> I think that's the plan, isn't it? Oh, sort of well, if, the if, the battery, if we go late enough. Yeah, we'll see. Um, but it's, actually, I'm kind of worried so about think, the power. I think Kurt's still 45 minutes away. All oh, right. Yeah, I'm kind of worried about the power. It's still playing yeah. up. It's playing up funny. It's still uh, doing weird stuff. The old um, power supplies. Uh, Paul is off. Uh, we'll see him in the next one, mate. Happy Easter. Oh, David Cooper flew out in the, in the Singapore 747 in 1985, the first 747 flight in Brisbane, right? Wow. That's, that's awesome. That is awesome. Oh, yeah. You know, I, of all the, I've only ever been able to fly on a 747 once. Only once. Never once. <laughs> You've never been on one? No, never got to get on one before they got ah, taken away. Yeah, no, and um, <laughs> I'm sure I've told the story before, but it was actually on a, um, it was on a British Airways 747 uh, from Singapore to London. I got stuck in Singapore. I was flying staff travel about 10 years ago. And um, they were, all the flights were full. And uh, there was a jump seat available on the 747. <sighs> And I, I was like, oh, jump seat for 13 hours on a 7.4. Oh, uh, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Anyway, I did it. I did it. <laughs> and um, Good. Yeah, and I got on and uh, we took off uh, maybe about half an hour into the flight. They found an out-of-service business class seat on the, up, on the top deck Yep. Um, that had a broken tray table. It was out of service for a broken tray table. Hmm. And um, yeah, I took that. <laughs> nice. That was an awesome experience. I love that. That was that was quite a memory yeah, that will stick with me. 
my sister many, many, many years ago mm. got to sit, got to go into the cockpit of an ANSET. I think it was a 7, 6, 7 or something at the time. Right. And go across from the East Coast, up from Cairns to Perth. Yeah. Years and years ago. She flabbergasted by what it was. And I'm thinking, oh, yeah. And I'm looking back now and I'm like, how lucky were you? Because we're not allowed to do that anymore. Yeah. You work outside the industry, there's no way. Or outside the airline, there is absolutely oh, no, no way not you'll chance. be let in there during flight. Not a chance. Yeah. And even then. Yeah. That's so hard. It's only last resort that they put staff in there these days. So, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Qantas 125 here. Rolling on 19er left. 7-3 heading to Auckland. Uh, we can still somewhat see it, can't we? It's looks like pretty good. Especially the interior light. Yeah, the interior. And, and how funny is that? Because you can't see can't it. See darn thing from here no. With the naked eye. Oh, we've got the Air New Zealand's heading back out. The 321 Neo. I don't know if it's just me. Is that wind actually warmer now than it was before the sun went It now? doesn't feel as bad, does it? I was yeah. actually concerned that by now it would feel a bit cold, but mm. um, it's not too bad at all. Designates back. Welcome back, mate. Crystal White's here as well. Hi. Happy Easter. Hello, Crystal. Oh, Kev's heading off. Night, Kev. Oh, good oh, on you, night, Kev. Kev. Yeah, good on you, Kev. <laughs> Taxes we'll, uh, are done. <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll talk to you soon, mate. Thanks for joining us, the Sarvo. Oh, that's not a good shot, is it? What was I looking for? Oh wow. I had a Cooper saying he's been on that was that body was talking about, that's one of forty seven four seven flights that he's been on. Really? That yeah, many? One of forty. That's insane, that's crazy. Yeah. Very nice. Gosh, I can't even say that about flying around Australia. I don't think I've ever flown <laughs> on an aircraft one type 40 times. Yeah, right. <laughs> and I fly a lot. Um, actually, I do have to do a power um, thing, don't I? I do. Mm, what am I going to do here? I'll do that in a second. Actually, Matt, are you going to come back up here? I might need one of your batteries. Uh, well, you have more there. No, no. no. Oh, Hang right. They're here still. Yeah, I've got the, yeah, I've got the other big one. Oh, yeah. Uh, I might need that one. I can come up. I just... Uh, my mic echoes if I'm up there. Uh, give me a second. I'll try it. I think it's all right. <laughs> yeah, no, we're good. We're good. There we go. There's the mat cam back.
didn't spot that. He said uh, 7,654 subscribers. 7,654. Oh, four. yes. Yeah. <laughs> How cool is that? Awesome. <laughs> Welcome to all the new subs today. And there goes Qantas 549 heading to Sydney. Uh, one of the Air New Zealands uh, is out there somewhere. I'm trying to find it. <laughs> <laughs> he's out there. Yeah. Yeah, he's a, what's it, is he? Four. There it is. Yeah. Alpha oh, four. Uh, yeah, waiting down there. Uh, holding short of one nine a left uh, for the next arrival. Which is? Qantas 544. Oh, <laughs> uh, where is he? There he is. Yeah, when's the uh, A380 due to move? Surely we'll see that. That's uh, can't be far away. Yeah, no movement yet. I can see. Uh, I think the tugs been moved up to the front. Oh, okay. So it might be imminent. Is it on two hundred line up runway one nine? I just realised what the flashing light means up there, man. I got really on the <laughs> the battery up there. Yeah, yeah, it's just like charging. <laughs> uh, I used to be so tech-minded back then. Ah, <laughs> oh. hey. wait to see what happens when it goes dead. Yeah, when this one goes dead, the camera just drops. Yeah, no, I've, I've seen You've that. You've seen that? Just, <laughs> just nose dives. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I prefer to get it before that happens. <laughs> Uh, so the camera doesn't just, yeah, nosedive. Because it was the first time I saw it. It sort of spun its way around. There, then down there. Well, that's the wind. The wind picks it up. <coughs> because it just goes floppy. Yep. <laughs> yep. Um, it was funny, and I'm like, oh, hello, galvanised steel. Because I thought we were staring at it yeah. for like five minutes. Yeah. <laughs> All right, there is the Air New Zealand 321 Neo heading back to Christchurch. catch up again. Mm. Uh, Jen, James and Matty have a great long weekend. See you in the next one. <laughs> you too, Jen. Thank you so much. Actually looks all right. It does look all right in that light. Doesn't it does. look, uh, doesn't look terrible. All right, let's catch the departing. Oh, the, is that arrived? <laughs> I think it's just arrived. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I was like, oh, this is going quick. <laughs> it's a quick roll. Wow. Yeah. Uh, jet stuff. <laughs> 
Jetstar 754. We missed the touchdown. Um, there's 320 in from Launceston. Gosh. Down in Tazzy. Oh, that was... Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> I tried, I tried. <laughs> yes, Caravan, it has been a long day. <laughs> <laughs> But a very enjoyable day. All right, here we go. We've got uh, we've got an alliance in Brea, one in the actual alliance livery, and they have no tail light on for us. <laughs> See, they, they've got to start reading their memos. Yeah. <laughs> like when when OPN's here, you got to have the tail lights on. Yeah. Listen, 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 all of you. <laughs> <laughs> all right, heading heading to Adelaide. It's quite live in 30 minutes. Ah, uh, not long, not long. <laughs> uh, yeah, Brad, yeah, the, the free 80 isn't departing till uh, 9 o'clock, but it will be moved from its remote stand any time now uh, to Bay 75. Uh, very, very imminent, I would imagine. Look at the, um, the lights on the, the cranes over there over in uh, Brisbane Port. It looks pretty cool. It does actually look pretty cool. You see on six quad when he's at Shep's Mound and he's looking across the airfield, you can see a red crane, the light of a red crane. Oh, right. And then it gets nicknamed the lightsaber. <laughs> <laughs> and these are funny, the way they stick up. Yeah. Container loaders. That's so dark down there, Matt. <laughs> the train. Love it. I imagine these dash eights are finished. Finished for the night. Oh, John Vogel's back. Dinner done. Still going. Yeah, still going at the moment. Probably not for long, mate. Probably not for long. Uh, Mrs. Professor, it's 1.30am Pacific time here in Cali. I'm off to bed. 
Thanks for the great show, despite the gremlins. Uh, see everyone next time. Thank you so much, Mrs. Professor. And, uh, yeah, see you, uh, well, hopefully very soon. We're not sure when the next stream will be, but uh, keep your eye out. <laughs> Dubs here says I'll have a note for being late. <laughs> <laughs> a sick note. Seki saying uh, James must add it to the no tams. <laughs> Tail lights when OPN is streaming at night. It's a must. It won't be long until uh, until Brad's <laughs> sitting in the uh, the front right hand seat of this one. Just an under six contact uh, Two weeks. Two weeks. Yeah, two weeks. I think it's two weeks today. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, everyone. I've been dressed as the Easter Bunny all day, terrorising the children in the street. <laughs> I could see you doing it too, mate. <laughs> but it would suit you. Uh, Brian Golf, uh, thank you for your kind words, mate. <laughs> I love it. Oh, the second uh, yeah, Cath Media. I can't believe I've been uh, I've been plane spotting since six fifteen a.m. <laughs> wow, twelve hours. <laughs> Here we go. Here's the second uh, Air New Zealand Neo, the three twenty one Neo. This one's going back to uh, Auckland. And uh, I've just gone and missed the dash eight touchdown because I can't see anything. <laughs> there it is. Connors Link 2363 and from Wagga Wagga. We saw this one leave earlier. Seen the round trip. We'll get a better shot of it when it pulls in to the, uh, to the nest, as we call it. That is seriously dark down there. I have <laughs> no idea <laughs> how they can how it can see this. Yep. Yeah. All I'm seeing, like on this one over here, is just the red flag from white. Yeah. That's, it. That's all I can see. This this is why I'm not this is why I'm not noticing the aircraft coming in. When's the 222 out? That's not far, is it? It's five minutes. Right. Okay. Well, we got we got to see that leave at least in the dark. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, Qantas 1936 and Embraer in from Adelaide. <laughs> Seki, you need to switch from uh, switch to uh, instrument streaming, James, from visual streaming rules. Mate, um, you know what? I do that a lot. <laughs> I just. <laughs> I, a lot of the time I don't look up and I actually um, I, I just kind of look at the radar and my screens in front of me. That's like people with the weather radar. They'll look at it and they'll like, look out a window. Yeah. <laughs> you know? 
sooner than expected if that continues. <laughs> <laughs> What sort of shot have you got us, mate? You, you actually, the camera can still see something, <laughs> which is surprising. Yeah, I'm still waiting for emirates. The beacon's on. Oh, cool. It'd be nice to see that uh, leave. Or, uh, sorry, not leave. Uh, <laughs> you know what I mean. Move. <laughs> Move. <laughs> Oh, it is moving, actually. Ah, oh, it is on the push. Yeah. It's on the push. There goes Rex 379 heading to Sydney. Oh, yeah, beacon's on. Well, maybe when that pushes back, Matt, head back here for the finale. <laughs> yeah, can do. What's that? I'm just trying to find the uh, 220 tail while you while you watch that. Yeah, I'm on one I'm pretty sure he's just here. Yeah, I think I did spot it. Yeah, he's on gate 18. Bay 18. Connors 989 now from Mackay. I started reading out the comments in Sid Squad. <laughs> <laughs> Almost. Because oh. there's a couple in there that are right. in, in this one. Oh, as well. right. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Don't, don't make that mistake. There <laughs> oh. we go. That New Zealand two, uh, 321 Neo is rolling. Heading to Auckland, New Zealand 148. Hopefully you can see it. Seki. Air New Zealand did get the no tam from OPN. <laughs> <laughs> For a bit, he hasn't been in there much of the day. He's no, in. he said he was. Uh, he said he busy. couldn't. Yeah. yeah. It's popped up.
bunny suit, you natty. Mm, dark, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Virgin 382 just touching down there in the background from Townsville. Uh, no tail light, but the, the cabin lighting kind of makes up for it on these. It's, it's, it's nice, hmm. the, the purple cabin lighting. It's actually pretty cool in the end, too. It's, it's really hard to explain the, the, sort of the feeling that you get with it. Yeah. There's people that love it, and then there's people that hate it. And I'm the one that, I'm on the side that loves it. It's just great. <laughs> it's like a purple hue all over it. Yeah, really, yeah, yeah. You know. All right, there, there is the Emirates A380 uh, taxiing on the Mac Cam. Terrible shot on my It'll be in view of you. It is. The, the Mac Cam um, isn't very good in the dark. <laughs> Um, but look, neither is the, the lens I have on this camera today, but uh, it's doing somewhat of an okay job. Oh, I do have, I do have visual. There it is. What's that? I'm asking uh, who do Emirates put in the cockpit while repositioning the aircraft. One of the engineers. Yeah, it'll be a Cathay Pacific. <laughs> How does the uh, the Gateway Bridge look in the background as well? Stunning. All right, uh, the, the Qantas, Qantas Link A220 is pushing back. Do you want to come back up, Matt? We'll probably call it after the A220, I reckon. You there? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he just went silent. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll catch. I think we'll so catch. I've been, I've been here since four. <laughs> we'll, we'll catch the 220 departure, and then I mean that'll be us. That'll be us. Yeah. Kurt should be live by then. Too. Yeah. Only, what is it? 14 minutes. <laughs> So the, the 380 will be going into Bay 75. Which, uh, which connects directly to the business class lounge, doesn't it, Matt? Can you see? Uh, yes. Can you see the lounge from here? Is it that one? Is it, um, up, is it up there? It's on the yeah, roof, isn't it? Fine. The Emirates lounge. Yeah, the Emirates. That's it. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. It is up on. Is it? Is yeah, it that that's the back of it. Yeah. Over there. On. So the yeah the windows you see at the very top there yeah. Yeah. That's the back of it. Mm. Right. It okay. goes all the way. Like it, mate. There's something, there's something wrong with the power. Some weird. Oh, you're right, Oh, don't hit your toe again. <laughs> <laughs> that sounded like uh, a trick, and your plug just slapped the cement. <laughs> No, it's just the camera, it's all right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's um, even worse. Con Conus 941 heading to Perth. Boy's favourite YouTube airplane travel channel. Thank you, mate. Very kind to say that. Uh, where's this 220? 
There it is. It's pushed. Uh, disconnected, so I imagine it's about to begin its taxi. Ah, oh, right, is that what you... Ah, oh, sorry, mate. I've, Brian, I've, <laughs> I've misread that. You're asking a question. What is your, uh, what is, um, what is your favourite YouTube airplane travel vlogger? Oh, that's oh, a great question. Sorry, man. Yeah. <laughs> I misread that's a that. Question, um, so many yeah, but I'll take the compliment anyway. <laughs> 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 oh. <laughs> no, I'm not sure actually. Um, there is, there's quite a few. There's a few I watch. I watch at least a dozen different ones, and they're all. They look at different things. Each one's look yeah. At like they look at the basics, like your, your seat, your food, and the service provider. Yeah. Um, but then there's other ones that go into a little bit more detail. Oh, <laughs> the only thing I don't like is when they sit and you have to watch them eat. I, I don't, we don't have to see you eat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, pictures of the food don't really... Uh, the problem is a picture of the food doesn't, that doesn't particularly tell you. do you much either, does it? Because, yeah. I mean, food can look terrible but be great. So Yeah, because um, I've had that happen myself on, yeah. on, on, on planes. Yeah, like yeah. It's dinner time that looks awful but your first mouthful and you eat the whole thing yeah yeah exactly <laughs> oh hopefully this camera holds oh no oh no sorry is it we're one nines aren't we a four yeah. zero ones for a second <laughs> <laughs> this will be going uh one niner left surely be better <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> He's got his tail light on, so I'm happy. Yeah, that's something, isn't it? Uh, it's a great looking livery. Um, I, I just think the livery suits the, the, the 220 so much, doesn't it? It does. It fits it a lot yeah. better than it does on the 737. It does, yeah. I like the extended, um, what do you call it? The cone at the rear. Oh. The booty. The, yeah, booty. I can't remember the name the of it. <laughs> I, I'm sure I've been told. I, like, I, I know it, but I just, I just, just it's forgotten. not. Yeah, it's, it's gone from my, uh, from my mind. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was only watching a documentary yesterday. Yeah, and they talked, they probably about, talked it, about it. And I'm like, <sighs> yeah, I'm sitting here racking my brain. Um, yeah. It reminds me of, um, Con you know, Concord had, had the really long one. Yes. I was watching a doco on that the other day, too. Yeah, they probably talked about it there. It was the time <laughs> it came to Australia. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and it departed Sydney. Yeah. It was, I didn't realise, actually, how recent that was compared to other things. Yeah. Because um, it, it was 2000. So oh, was it? Was 99? it really? Oh, right. And it was, I think it was about 1996 that it came to Brisbane. Yes. Yeah. Um, which was not a planned stop, was it? It was, uh, no. a, was it a technical, a, a, a fuel stop or they, something? They need to put fuel in, yeah. Um, which was pretty cool. I saw, there's a, vid, there's a great video on YouTube uh, of it departing here at Brisbane. Um, I mean, great. I say great, but great for 1996. Yeah, yeah. Before <laughs> technology went from yeah. what it was to, well, look at what we got now. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> oh, this camera is uh, not happy. It's not happy. <laughs> Here we are praising technology. We're, we're going to be. I reckon we're going to be out of here as soon as the 220. Um, as soon as this 220 rolls down the runway, let's hope that the camera holds up because yeah, it, it ain't happy. He's tired. Oh, we did. We hit 600 likes, Glenn. Oh, wow. uh, thank you so much, guys. If you yes. haven't already hit the like button, please do. But uh, I imagine you probably all have. Uh, Joel. <laughs> Joel, yes, we did, mate. We did. Thank you. Had a few cameras about the place. Might have an arrival first. Here we go. We do. Coming in from Canberra. Uh, Qantas Link 1908, uh, an Embraer. Heated 1263, line up, runway 1 Line up, one nine one. And I believe the 220 is going to be next, and that'll be us. That'll be us for tonight. It is next.
I uh, just want to say a big thank you to, uh, to everyone that's tuned in today and uh, spent your Easter Sunday afternoon uh, with us here at Brisbane Airport. It's been, uh, it's been great fun. And um, yeah, we can't wait to do it all again very soon. Been a great afternoon. Yeah, thank you, Terry, and, uh, and Peter as well, uh, off camera, uh, been up here all day with us uh, all afternoon. Yeah, thanks for having me on. It's oh, been awesome. Mate, it's awesome. We love having you uh, on the show. A lot of laughs. I love having the laughs. It's just <laughs> yeah. <great. laughs> yeah, yeah, no, it's great fun. And, and look, any comeback anytime, mate, anytime. Whenever you can get down here, make sure you do. It'll be another two weeks. Oh, okay. So there you go. Yeah, there we go. It's locked in. <laughs> it's locked in. Two weeks. Here the only we reason it was a month this time was because you guys were... We were away, yeah. You were away. And I guess we was standing right here <laughs> that Sunday, so yeah. <laughs> That's right. Here we go. Qantas Link, 1908, 220. X-Ray 4, bravo, heading back to, um, oh, that's the wrong tag. <laughs> that is the wrong tag. Anyway, it is the 220, and it's heading back to Melbourne, but um, I'm not sure what the flight number is. <laughs> and it, it, it is QF 1263. <laughs> Qantas Link 1263, there we go. It is 1263. We tried, we tried. There we go, people. Our, our fumbling for the day is... Complete. I was looking at the, the data tag and it was saying uh, returning, coming back to Brisbane. I was, that's not right. That's not right. Um, there we go, yeah. Heading to Melbourne. Ah, <laughs> oh, well. Thank you guys for, uh, for being with us today. What have I missed? Have I missed anything? Oh, Nick, Nick Press has just gone and jumped in with the $10 super chat at the end there. Thank you so much, Nick. Oh, very, thanks, very kind, mate. G'day, lads. Some coin for a new camera and HDMI cable. <laughs> but, mate, there's going to be plenty of uh, debugging going on over the next uh, few days, that's for sure. I've got to uh, work out what the problem was. Uh, it's power related, actually. So um, Yeah, it's definitely because as you've fixed it, yeah. it's worked all right. But then after a bit... And look, we would have been fine had the backup not have blown up on us today, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> which is uh, just typical, isn't it? Yeah, so, a little um, concerning, actually, but I'm, yeah, I'm glad it's over there, away from it us. It won't be uh, being used again. It's going straight back to Super Cheap, and I'll be getting a refund. <laughs> no more replacements. Yeah. Um, drop it, move on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But thank you, mate. Thanks for the 10. Very much appreciated. Uh, but yeah, stay around. I think we're going across to uh, I think we're going across to Sydney now. Anyway, so um, yeah, those of you that have been plane spotting all day, there's, there's more to come. I think <laughs> there is an after party. Uh, but thank you guys. Uh, a big thank you to Brisbane Airport as well for having us here today, and um, and also uh, to the mods for doing such a fantastic job. Definitely. As always in the chats, these are all legends. Yes, and. Um, yeah, a, a massive thank you to everyone. Uh, Chris, yes, Chris, we'll be uh, we'll, we're, we're continuing on. So um, yeah, don't worry. <laughs> I am currently looking at it. Six bodies live. Well, everyone, thank you for having me. Thank you, Terry. Thank and you for being here. Um, we will see each other again. See, soon. see everyone very soon. Yes. yes. Um, I don't know, Matt, Matt, Matt might want to say goodbye quick, yep. mate, but um, other than that, I think we're good. Righto, people. I'll throw to Matt. Take care, everyone. See you next time. Are we done, Dustin? We're done. We're done, mate. Oh. <laughs> uh, thank you, everyone, again. Uh, we'll, we'll see everyone later on in the week. Uh, but stick around. I think we're going we're gonna to head over to Sydney. Oh, absolutely. So, uh, Amelia, thank you. Sorry, I was having a yarn. <laughs> Take care, guys. Bye-bye. Oh, we're raiding. Yeah, we're raiding. We're raiding. <laughs> we'll talk to you all soon. Bye-bye. <laughs> See you, everyone.